way. And if they listening, they might as well listen to me, bruh. Let me tell y'all, I'm sipping on Henny, but ain't no way in the world I would have been drinking on no effing vodka. They say it was nasty. It's an instant hangover and ain't nobody want to drink it. And that's why 50 was jealous of Diddy because of that effing vodka. The effing vodka wasn't selling. The effing vodka was making him look bad. The effing vodka still on the shelf. And now Ciroc want for 50 Cent to be the new spokesperson, man. They want 50 to sell a liquor. They don't want Diddy to do it no more. Like he ain't give so much to the culture and make the nightlife so exciting. I ain't taking enough for Diddy. But what 50 Cent gonna do with all that moolah? He'll probably do anything. With them corduroy clothes on, the goodwill gonna be sold out. He ain't got no swag to be selling no, no damn Ciroc or no liquor nowhere. He ain't got the swag for that. What? How in the world 50 Cent gonna sell some liquor and he don't even drink? The last time we seen him turn up, he was upside down on the Super Bowl stage. And people was picking on him for days, hours, and weeks. Now they got the audacity to say that he the man to sell us a rock and Diddy ain't the man no more. They want to give it to 50. He'll do anything. So Rock Vodka want 50 Cent to replace Diddy as the brand leader. So now he the man. He was the main one making all them blogs all day long, talking about how Diddy is this and Diddy is that. Diddy is wack and Diddy is zesty and Diddy is all of these things. Now he want to be Diddy because the effing vodka was trash. And everybody know it. Dr. Dre know it. Eminem know it. Them strippers he be with, they Diddy sex workers. He ain't never made a good investment. Bought Mike Tyson old house because he was cheap and they want to pay full price for a new house. Cobwebs, termites, ants, and roaches. He ain't give a damn. Mr. Scrooge, what he gonna do with the money? They give him a billion dollars. Where his swag gonna be invested into? He gonna start another G unit and come out with them sneakers to rip off JD, Jay-Z's S. Carters. That's what he gonna do? I'm pissed off about this, man. They make it seem like Diddy ain't do nothing for the culture. Like, he ain't the reason why y'all ain't want to go out there and get fresh. Like, people ain't like the fact that he was freaking off Cassie and her girlfriends, man. And get this, the rumor has it, Cassie about to come back to the life. She tired of being a mom on the farm. And allegedly, 50 Cent gonna be the one to wife her up so he can sell bottles of Ciroc. Cause let's be real, man. They ain't give Diddy all that money for his looks to sell that liquor. They pay him because he was with a fine, exotical chick with international appeal, man. Y'all need to see this, man. When you got a girl like this on your arm, people want what you drinking, man. Hold on. Y'all need to see this, man. When this is your chick, you can sell anything from coast to coast, Costa Rica to Tobago, from Montego Bay to Cuba. She look like Sade, coast to coast LA to Chicago. She a smooth operator. Just the only way 50 gonna be able to sell that liquor is if he got this chick. Cause she the type of chick that'll make you wanna go out there, get a good job, get drunk and get laid. The audacity of these people, man. We're going to talk about it. Y'all need to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I got so much love for y'all. I'm worked up. I'm fired up. We're going to be opening up the phone lines in a little bit. Sipping that Henny. I ain't effing with that effing. And since 50 going to be the face of Ciroc, y'all going to have to let me know if y'all want to go out there and buy that joint. Detroit's finest in the building. Melanair Phoenix. Where my members at? Where they at? Got Tracy in the house. Shout out to everybody watching. But you know, I got to take care of the members first, man. Tracy, Swagger, Mink, Brian, and we got Maya Ray. 
What's up, baby? Nita Sheree. Oh, that's amazing. More Nisi in the building with Grace. Man, I might as well go ahead and let y'all know exactly what's going on. 50 Cent reacted to his baby mother, Daphne Joy. She was named as Diddy's alleged sex worker. And he paid for her. What he gonna do if Diddy go to jail and he ain't got no more sex workers? He really gonna go out there and find his own chick? If it wasn't for Diddy, he really wouldn't have nothing to rap about. What he gonna do? Now they want him to be the CEO of Ciroc. They going on and on about how 50 was the first pick and they would have rather have him over Diddy. 50 Cent was our initial top choice as brand ambassador, but Diddy came in and stole the deal away. Many in the company always thought 50 would be a better fit. Come on, man. 50 got a, a white tee and $50 worth of fake jewelry. Brian Pumper saw 50 and decided that he might as well be a rapper. He a porn star with balls, Pumper jewels, and Diddy is the real deal. And I ain't hating on 50, I'm just saying, man, he could never step to Diddy's pedigree when it comes to this pimp game, man. Especially when your baby mama was getting pimped by Diddy and he ain't even know it, y'all. He's standing in the rain, smoking the bogey, stressed the fuck out, man. He look hurt. It's a hard knock life. He said, I didn't know you was a sex worker, you little sex worker. Yeah, this shit is a movie, man. Diddy been pimping your chick. Now they acting like you gonna be able to sell Ciroc better than the dude that was pimping your baby moms. How you gonna sell it? You gonna get up there and lisp your way into a billion dollars? I don't wanna see him sell no liquor. A buff nigga selling liquor. They might as well close the LA Fitness. Oh how that's gonna make sense when he all about getting in shape and pumping arm? How he gonna do that with a pot belly? It's sickening, it's disgusting. Stevie J don't like it, and he in the news talking about it. Y'all need to see this, man. I don't know what my whatever someone does in their bedroom, that's what they do. I don't got nothing to do with that. I'm just here to say that I've never seen my man doing anything foul like they talking about. None of it. All of it. I, I mean, I, you know. I, I've never seen it. I've known him for 29 years. And then it's like with guys like, like 50, you know what I'm saying? Like Uncle Tom cats like that. Diddy over there right now, butt naked, making sure Stevie J say all the right stuff, man. He told Stevie J he'll give him a bag if he just get on TMZ and clear the air. He probably ain't even got on no pants right now while he talking. Said he ain't never see his man do nothing foul like that, like how 50 be talking. And while they trying to clear Diddy's name, 50 laughing all the way to the bank with a brand new Ciroc deal. And it's looking like he planned this thing out all along because what nobody really worried about Diddy like that. It was 50 that cracked open the whole can of worms by doing all that talking. The same thing that got the Supreme team locked up. And if you ask me personally, this what I think, man. Hold up. This is what I think about everything, yeah. I think Eminem put a battery in his back and he willing to do anything. Whatever Eminem tell him to say, he gonna do it. They wanna get Diddy off the block because he knocked off Tupac. I need to see this, man. That Machiavelli shit real. He reincarnated as a white boy from Detroit. They do anything for Pop. They worship Pop and his memory forever with candles and shit. Now Diddy in the situation. It's all over. They about to get a bag, the 50 new corduroy pants and tight jackets, man. That's what he about to do with the money. 
y'all need to see this, man. Is this the most sickness thing I ever seen in my life? This man want to be Diddy so bad that he ain't realized that his baby mom's was a sex worker for Diddy. He went out there and got Mary J. They saying she looking like the moon man nowadays. She's somebody grandmother, but he just had to have her. He smell like mothballs and she smell like mothballs too. And with them representing for Ciroc, where they plan on selling this shit? In the nursing home? And he got jealous when Michael Jordan patted Mary J. Blige on her ass just to calm her down like a dog. Cause she was jumping all over him like she was a poodle. He had to pat her, tap, tap on her booty just so she'll calm down. Give her something to remember. Cause she not even his real type. For that Woo. If 50 was in his feelings about it, like she ain't old news. Diddy's old leftover shoes. Now he don't even want to wear no more. He wore them shits out in the 90s, man. She still got the door knocking earrings. She still ignorant. And she still don't want no more drama. Oh my goodness. It's about time I open up these phone lines, man. Cause I talked a handful of shit about as many celebrities as I possibly can before I open up these phone lines, man. That always get the crowd going. Phone lines open. If you ain't scared. Matter of fact, let me tell y'all something. Before you even think to call in here, just cause I act stupid, that don't give you the right to act stupid. We looking for them PhDs, them college graduates. You more than welcome. I'm extending my hand. This is an olive branch for a phone call, a conversation. You be civilized and let me play the fool. You be civilized as hell. I want you to say your ABCs and your one, two, threes while I act the plum fool. Come up to Mount Olympus, man. I'm welcome. Come on, all y'all. Come to the Mount. Y'all gonna have to deal with me, man. Them phone lines is open. Hello? Hello, hello. Who this is? Y'all ain't ready. Y'all got that shit on in the back. Hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo, yo. This guy, what's going on? Welcome to Mount Olympus, brother. We about to have a conversation and I need for you to speak all that knowledge, all that wisdom, man. We want to hear what you got to say about what's going on with Diddy and 50 Cent allegedly being the new CEO of Ciroc. Well, first things first, in the beginning, I want to say that I was supporting 50, you know, exposing all the corrupted BS that Diddy had going on Hollywood for decades, man, but... I gotta say, for all the things that's coming out, bruh, it's a little too good to be true, you know. Oh if this is set up or what, I feel like this tension kind of let my man go into a little bit of a blind rage, so to speak. And Diddy ain't really had no business doing any of this stuff with nobody to get where he is to begin with. So I just hope it really don't come to the fact where people got to get burnt in the process, you know what I'm saying? Burn their old face and all that. You the greatest caller we ever had, bro. Before I say what I got to say, that's what I'm talking about, man. This man got his A game on. He over there talking that shit. He done boosted the video from four stars to five bright stars, man. And that's all we really need. Let me say what I got to say, man. Since they want to give 50 Cent all of the money and give everything that Diddy had to him, it's starting to right. look like this was the plan all along, bro. Like, he That's wanted real. that bag. Like, 50, he wanted to be in Diddy's shoes. He wasn't going to stop until he owned everything this man owns. You see what I'm saying? Because not not to, not to diss my man 50 all the way, but I'm like, when it got to the point where it, where, where it became past Diddy, it got to the point where I, see, I think I see what? A couple of videos about Beyonce couple of videos about um jay-z a couple of videos don't get me wrong they are spicy man but my thing is if you're gonna try to shout out everybody and then thinking that you're gonna try to take over a brand for somebody else not trying to call you a hypocrite but what what, what you think you're making yourself look like right now you see what i'm saying no bro all 50 shows is about taking over tyrese taking over from ghosting 
um, Kanan trying to take over from Tommy. Tommy double crossing. That's all he do is make shows about two timing, double crossing thieves, man. He got a yeah. show raising Kanan. He'll cross over his own mother for a bag. He don't give a damn yeah. about who it is, when, what, where, how, bro. Exactly, bro. And he not understanding because my thing is, Diddy, don't get me wrong. If you hit your mama and really in front of cameras, you you capable of doing anything. But for my man Fifty, you didn't hit your mama in the thing, but you did some some you know underhanded stuff on television for entertainment purposes. So if, no matter what you're doing, there's a good way for you to understand that you kind of portraying who you really are, whether if you entertain the masses or not. And right now, especially with that new CEO thing, that he really just kind of uh, not necessarily took from under Diddy's nose, but bro, uh, you. You kind of, I'm starting to see a little bit of similarity. I'm going to just say that. I'm starting to see a little bit of similarity. Bro, you ain't never lied about that, man. Everything you said was nothing but facts. We got to wait and see how this play out. Because Diddy on the cover of Surat, people ain't going to be running up in the store trying to get, who want 50 swag? Oh my like, he needs yeah. to be selling protein shots or some shit. That would be a better yeah. deal. Man, who you telling, man? Because I'm not going to lie. If I... First, I don't drink. I don't drink like that. But if I know that there's a big, six foot one buff dude, you know, selling a drink like that, that's kind of gonna dissuade me from buying. It's you know stupid, man. Who turned up more than Diddy? People want to turn the fuck up when they drinking, and Diddy is the perfect face. You know he get wild. So exactly. I'm gonna buy me a bottle of Syrah tonight because I'm feeling like this. Look, I ain't never gonna be feeling like this. Man, no Diddy. No Diddy. No, yeah, no. Di Matter of fact, you got me talking zesty, even though your conversation is amazing. That don't say nothing about me, but that definitely say something about you, brother. You need to get your life together. And we want to thank you so much for your phone call, man. You are amazing. Don't be no stranger. I'm going to save your number and everything. Call back whenever you feel like it. Real talk. Shout out to him, man. Yo, that's a blessing. My first caller, he was a good guy, man. No, but no Diddy, man. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, what's up? It's Ty from Atlanta. Ty from Atlanta. We over here having this conversation about 50 Cent being the new face of Ciroc. And people, he ain't really got the flavor to be the face of no Ciroc. That FM Vodka was FM Vodka that Are got you? you drunk and you felt horrible for a whole week. Hopefully he got the face evil. I, come on. And I, I think that um, 50 doing that because basically all about the baby mother, first of all. Secondly, he don't want his son around Puff. I understand that because he's a, a child molester. You know what I'm saying? He, if 50 take it, let him take it. Who cares? Who cares? It's about branding. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's all about the brand, sister. Dude. Can 50 even sell a liquor like that? Of course. Why he can't? Who, who is Puff? When the last time you bought some, oh. when the last time you bought some 50 cent liquor? I don't drink, baby, so I don't buy nobody liquor. So how you even know anything about liquor if you ain't even buying liquor? I don't have to when I be around people that do it, and then when I throw parties, I buy it. And I don't drink it, though, but I buy it. So you buy liquor for other people's enjoyment? Yeah, of course. If they come to my house and we having a little gathering or something, yeah, I'm going to buy it. Of course. Okay. So if you go in the liquor store and see 50 Cent standing there, Real buff with a bottle of Ciroc. You gonna buy that? <laughs> of course. Okay. Yo, Sean, that, you stupid. It is what it is, mom. If you gonna buy a big old bottle of Fifty Cent Buff Man, the uh, Michelin Man liquor, then be my guest, man. Yeah, I don't see nothing wrong with it. If Fifty take it, let him take it. Who cares? Puff needs to be gone anyway. Who cares about him? Did Puffy really Everybody do? Did he really? Told, do? I know you ain't so sorry for him. Now, did Puff do, did he really do anything wrong for real? Huh? Did he really do anything wrong for real? Like, did Puff really deserve all this? Yeah, he do. And why is that? He do. Because he's a grimy devil. He's, he's, he's evil. Put your hands on your own mom. You don't care about nobody. But why anybody should care about him? Who said he put his hands on his own mom? I seen it. It was on. The, they had showed it on the internet where he pushed on something. He pushed down he his do mommy. Like that. He did something like that. 
don't, I don't well, remember hearing. Right. I don't remember hearing nothing like that. Mm-hmm. Well, he cursed out. It was one of the two. One of the two. I don't like when people be lying on di- And I ain't saying you lying. I'm just saying I ain't never heard nothing like that, man. But one thing for sure, I want to thank you so much for your phone call, sister. I really do appreciate you. And don't be no stranger. I love you to death. We're going to holler at you real soon, man. I really don't like when people be lying on Diddy. So we just going to, you know, keep the show rolling. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yeah, hello. My name is Renee, and I'm from New Jersey. They need to leave Diddy alone. They did the same BS to Michael Jackson. But why we black as black people always want to take our own down? When the guy came out and said Michael Jackson didn't do it, you only heard that one time. Leave that brother alone. So you saying leave, leave, alone. leave 50 alone? Leave? No, leave Pete Diddy alone. They need okay. to leave him alone because we don't know if it's true or not. Yeah. So we just going to leave. We as, we as black folks, we always oh, take our oh, own down. When we going to stick no. together, stand behind one another. No, and get no. the same BS to Michael Jackson. Think about it. No, no. That man went to his grave and people thought he was out there molesting people. No, and he wasn't. No, no, no. Yeah, that's exactly what they said about Mike, man. They saying that Diddy do. So you saying we need to stick behind Diddy? We don't know if that's true. No, or not. Diddy. The white man always come for us. Think about it. All these white kids go out there, get these black men. They got a racist damn granddaddy in the background saying, "Go take that nigga money. He got too much." And what that got to do with you exactly? I'm just saying, leave the brother alone. We got sister soldier. We don't know if it's true or not. Why we can't stand together as black folks? We the only race that can't stand together. It's sad. It's sickness. It's 2024. Leave the brother alone. So we find out if he's guilty or not. That's all I'm saying. It's about to be a hot summer, and then it's going to be the coldest <laughs> winter ever, man. Real talk. We got Sister Soldier on the phone, everybody. Y'all show her some love. I love you. Have a good night. Love you too, sister. Ooh. Don't be no stranger, neither. She do it for the people with a big weed perm on the side. Just to let y'all know that she's still with the other side, man. She go ballistically black around black people, but she turned into Aunt Jemima as soon as she get to work, yeah. Yo, hello, hello, who this is, man? Hello. Yo, who this, this a five-star presentation, bro. Five stars. Five. We need you to wake up now. Oh, dusty bastard hung up the phone. He probably drunk off that effing vodka. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Take that, take that. Uh huh, bad boy. Got them zesties on the late night calling up and all that. For that mulo. It is what it is, man. Another hot night with them hot docs. And I hope y'all ready. Where my members at? That's what I want to know. Yo, shout out to Joshua Atkins and everybody holding it down. Tracy, Detroit's finest. Where the rest of the members? Where they at? Amaya Ray is in the bit. Do we got a new member? Where they at? Because I feel like loving and hugging them. Lisa Sammy. What's up, baby? QS. That's what I'm talking about. And she pretty and she watched my videos. That's why y'all mad, man. We got Katrina Edwards. Detroit's finest, Robin Freeman, Miss Lady Love. I'm act like I don't see you, but I see you right there, man. I'm Tivius Banks. What it do, bro? Miss Lady Love. I'm act like I don't even see your ass. And we gonna just do the video, man, because you gonna be showing me love all the time. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? What's that? Hey, Uncle Charles, man. Uncle Charles in the building. Yo, what's on your mind, bro? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what's on my mind. I'm sick and tired of us defending people that sexual assault our people. Oh, this, this man has been man. doing this stuff for 30 years. And I'm going to tell you something. The only people who need to be drinking vodka is the ones that he don't ran up in. They need to be drinking that damn vodka. Everyone in here, the ones that got the rubber ducky sticking out their ass, them the ones need to be drinking that vodka. I'm going to tell you something. He wouldn't even get close to me. Up there rubbing folks' shoulders. No. How in the world you give a man a massage? 
and he don't told you not to do it, and then you do it anyway, and you do it because you're stronger than the other guy. So, so he 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 falls to your prey. It is what it is. The only people who need to be drinking and smoking crack is the ones that he ran up in. Them the ones need to be doing that. Puppy needs to go. I am sick of this. You don't do that stuff for 30 years. The same thing for 30 years, and it ain't true. No, nobody said that about somebody, and it ain't true. You've got people up there eating, trying to eat breakfast, eating bacon. Yo, Uncle eggs. Charles, bro, you ain't never been around Puff. Oh my you ain't, you God, ain't never you ain't never seen him pull up in the Bentley and hop out with them chains swinging. You ain't never I, been I, around I, Puff. You ain't never, you ain't never got close to that man and seen how the chicks be acting around Puff. You ain't never yeah. been around, but you ain't never, you ain't never been around nobody with no type of money like how Puff got. But you ain't never been around Puff, and if you did, you would probably be asking him what type of cologne he got on. Let's be real. Yeah, I'm gonna be real with you. You damn right, I ain't gonna be around him. as long as I got my clothes on. I'm gonna tell you another damn thing. I'm gonna tell him to say this in clothes. I am sitting tired of hearing these, these weird ass stories about this man. You don't say the same thing about a man for 30 years and it ain't true. Let me tell you something. People up here trying to eat breakfast, eggs, bacon, sausage, and then he come to the kitchen, butt ass naked. Come on, man. What the hell? I want to look at your crust ass for. Now I got to try to down these eggs and this bacon after I don't see your funk ass with no clothes on. It is what it is and ain't what it's supposed to be. And then let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. He have ruined these people's lives. He have ruined enough. People lives. I don't need to be around a motherfucker like that. Uncle I don't Charles. need to be around a motherfucker like this. And that's all I got to say for Uncle, you. Uncle Charles, man. You ain't never been around nobody with no real bread. Let's keep it real. Let me tell you something. By the time we get off this phone, I'm going to have my clothes on. But if I decide to go oh, over to the house tonight. He over there butt naked, y'all. Yo, I, I knew tonight, something was I zesty. I knew, I knew something was zesty about this phone. You over there butt naked talking to another grown ass man talking about what you wouldn't do with Diddy. You butt naked right stuff. now. Let if you get if you be something. butt naked with me, about, you will be butt naked want, with Diddy too, man. We appreciate you. About, and we gonna holler at you later, man. I can't believe the nerve of this nigga. He butt booty naked talking about what he wouldn't do with Diddy, man. Part of the game is dead. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, Sean, this is Tried and Vibes. It's on your chat right now. Yeah. Hey, thanks for taking my call. I was trying to answer the one guy. Um, I had come across a YouTube video. Why it sound like you got a sock over your phone and all that? Why? Oh, I'm sorry. It's an older phone. It's I'm old and it's dusty, and it's supposed to be a five star presentation, man. You trying to you ruin my me, video? Brother, did Diddy? Me, did Diddy no, tell I'm you to do me. this? Did Diddy tell you no, to do no, this? It's I'm pearly white it. floors. It's, it's all quick. my it's stage. Quick. Is all it's pearly quick. white floors, and I can't believe you come up in here with them dusty moccasins, disrespecting my area. I welcomed you everybody to Mount Olympus. Brothers. And you think you're going to be able to stand on Mount Olympus with them dusty? We can't barely even hear hey, you. This, you this, know this, you this, got this, a Blackberry phone. I dare you disrespect Mount Olympus. How dare you? This, this is for royalty. You are disrespecting a legacy. How dare I'll look the one up about his mom there. You are too mom. raggedy for Sparta. And we need you to fix that phone. Fix it. Man. Fix hey, it. We love you too. And next time, when you get a new phone, you more than welcome to call back. We love you to Look death. Yeah. Phone, we, can, we can't even hear what you're saying. And Look we gonna holler at you later. Phone. I ain't got time, man. It's 2024. The tech will not allow it. And we gonna keep the show moving, man. Hold on, y'all. Let me get this real quick. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, this is your boy, Patty, man, from up in Toronto, Canada, man. All the way from Canada. And he got something to yeah. say about the situation with 50 Cent being the new CEO of Ciroc. They expect him to sell liquor. How you feel about all this? Hey, it's something great, man. It makes sense. It's better... For someone like 50 to run it, then Diddy, man. Diddy's out of control, man. Diddy's oh out of control, goodness. man. You're saying Diddy? Diddy he was out of control when he was selling all that liquor. How come ain't nobody think about it? During his most wildest times, he was selling billions of dollars worth of liquor. He probably did it. That's probably why he was turning up like that. 
Like he got liquor to sell. You with the freak freak or no? Nah? Yes or no? No. no. <laughs> if you gotta you, tell him no. You gotta tell him. No. But if Diddy was in your presence and you trying to live that nightlife and you trying to be the man, you want them chicks with them boobies. You want them chicks with them booties. You ain't going to try to hang with Diddy. Nah, not Diddy. Not what I know about Diddy. Diddy's a greedy person, man. Diddy ain't going to share nothing. You know what I'm saying? Man, them boys in Miami right now with their shirts out, shirts open, taco meat showing, waiting for Poppy to get off the boat. <laughs> don't lie don't lie they down there licking their lips like oh shit diddy in the house yeah yeah yeah, yeah. rick ross get to shaking his ass when he hear about diddy coming to the party yep motherfucker act like he's a tough guy you know what i'm saying ain't worth shit you know what i mean pick up the nons you know what i'm saying Hold on, you can't be in Canada talking shit about Americans like that. Now, I ain't saying it's no smoke, <laughs> but you can only talk bad about Drake. You can't say nothing about Rick Ross, Diddy, or none of the rest of them, man. <laughs> it's not bad. I'm a Jamaican Canadian, man. It so don't matter. It's either yeah. going to be on. Um, who the dude that's in jail, Tory Lanez or Drake? That's the only ones you allowed to talk bad about. <laughs> But we drink Ciroc. <laughs> Not no more. It. it probably can't even make it over the border. No more, man. Your boy Drake had bobby pins in his head and all that with his nails painted. <laughs> Zesty little boy. I can't believe that shit. You know what I'm saying? That that that, that got to be right there, man. It's yeah, he represent for Canada. And he got y'all out here. No, nah, no, nah, you don't. No, you don't, man. That guy made it in America, man. They said Remember Diddy that, slapped the shit out of Drake. Yeah, he, he he made his career in America. He never made it in Canada. He came back to Canada, but he made it over there. So whatever tricks he learned, he learned it over there, man. When they be at them Hollywood parties, they be looking like they know they going back to the house afterward. Like, we about to get in the bed. <laughs> they get to yawning and looking at each other like, you know what time it is, right? Like, yep, like, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When that liquor hits your system and they be doing other shit on top of that, they start falling in love with each other. Like, I like you, daddy. Look at you, daddy. They be looking at each other, baby <laughs> pictures and shit. They start bonding on a whole nother level and all that. They be. Yeah, they, 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 they take it too, too far, man. They, they, they took it too far. And, uh, you know what I mean? 50 is going to fix it, though. You know what I'm saying? They got and, Miguel, and the R&B singer, singer Miguel. They got French Montana, Dre. They got two light skins, a brown skin, and a dark skin. Nasty motherfucker in there, man. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Who the? Can you imagine Diddy and Bobby Brown together? Yeah, tell me about it. But Bobby's always high, so you know what I'm saying? He wouldn't even know if he was there, man. That boy, Bobby Schmurter, you can't tell me he ain't a sex worker. Oh, my God. For that moolah. Allegedly, man, he get up on that stage and he full of energy yep. before you know it. Them rich men gonna be asking for his autograph. Oh my yeah, he's a part of the basket. He's a part of the basket. They all it's a it's a crew, man. It's a crew. He be straight you know? twerking on stage. For that moolah. <laughs> Yo, let me quit talking about Bobby because he a real one in these streets. You know, you got to respect certain people. I could go off on Boosie, but I ain't going to do that because I look like a lame because Boosie is real people's in the street. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You in Canada, yeah, yeah. you don't have a clue. Bro, no disrespect, but you don't have a clue what I'm talking about right now. This that American talk. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I'm, I'm a guy that knows a lot been around a lot i've been in the, i'm in the business you in the business I'm, I'm in the music business so i know a lot you know what i mean i know a lot of people hold on so break it down look i apologize because i ain't know that you was connected like that i thought you was some raggedy dude in canada without a jaw come to find <laughs> come to find out you got some business about yourself so let me put some respect on your name and we would love to hear what it is that you know about the business bro 
I, listen, man. I know enough. Everything that Cat Williams is telling you is what's going on in the business. So for for artists like me, why I didn't make it is because I, my, my version my oh version only is still the same. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. <laughs> so you mean to tell me? You had me thinking that you had platinum albums or A and R or you doing something at Def Jam and you know Russell Simmons and you been to the Grammy Awards and you talking like you this big old, you in the music industry, you could make some phone calls. I was gonna ask you to make a couple of calls for your boy since you so connected come to find out you got a box of cereal on top of the refrigerator for the roaches and all that ain't even got no cereal up in there then you got the nerve to come to mount olympus oh <laughs> under the cereal guise under the cereal. guise of royalty cereal. under the guise <laughs> The cereal, guys of royalty and Mount man. Olympus come I, to I find out cereal, you're a regular degular or whatever, whatever, regular degular. All on Mount Olympus. And the people will not have it. They don't like it. You call you had me thinking that you was gonna call up Diddy and tell him to watch the show. But that's the furthest thing from the truth. I'm ashamed. And I appreciate your phone call, but you don't understand the pedigree and the realness that we've been providing for over seven years. It's a dynasty. And you, 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 you climb up to mount the nerve of thee. How dare you? You have disrespected the lead. Don't laugh before me. You have disrespect, you disrespected a dynasty. Which dynasty, did he? Man, look. All I'm trying to say is we really do appreciate you, brother. But a lot of people get things twisted. 50 Cent is not the type of man that'll make you want to go out there and turn up. He's just not. So why would they make him the CEO of Ciroc? It really don't make no sense, bro. Who though? To make no sense to who? To Ciroc or to you? And look, he was at the Super Bowl. People was drunk as fuck watching the show. People had wings, nachos, chips. Everybody was vibing. This man messed up the vibe on the Super Bowl. People put the drink down. Oh my goodness. He on stage, he fat. <laughs> and then he was upside down looking like somebody caught a squirrel, man. <laughs> Looks like he got Where caught in that? a bear trap. They put him in a bear trap on the video. Upside down, sweat and belly hanging over his neck. It was terrible, man. He did it in the music video back in the day when he was buff, but then they turned around and had him do it when he was fat. I just don't get it, man. We appreciate your phone call. Too. And make sure you call back next time we go live, bro. All the way from Canada, Jamaica. I do appreciate him. I wish I ain't hang up so fast, cause. I really appreciated everything that he had to say. You can't have my money, 50. Can't have it. The money that I got for Ciroc is for Diddy. Because you ain't going to be able to sell it, man. You got fat people doing spoofs. You did a spoof of your own spoof. Come on, man. The effing vodka ain't effing, it ain't effing worse. Y'all need to see this, man. Run that back a little bit. Play that, Rex, play that. I don't know what my, whatever someone does in their bedroom, that's what they do. I don't got nothing to do with that. I'm just here to say that I've never seen my man doing anything foul like they talking about. None of it. All of it, I, I mean, I, you know. I'm, I've never seen it. I've known him for 29 years. And then it's like with guys like, like 50. You know what I'm saying? Like, Uncle Tom cast like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you now you want to put- Shit, uh, hey man. Stevie, I was thinking, you know, and I ain't trying to talk bad about Fifth cause I love 50 Cent just like everybody else. But, uh, they're making some, <clears throat> they might as well put him on the syrup bottle on the pancake box. 
GGG Grits. Oh my goodness. For that moolah. Have him selling G-Unit Grits. The Grit Unit. He need to do country music with Beyonce. He already got the voice for it. And he'll go platinum again. You can find me in the pub. Bottle full of bub. Oh my goodness. He need to do that. Cause that's what people doing anyway. They gravitating towards country. You can find me in the pub. Bottle full of bub. Like you can find me in the pub. About to pull up to the pub. Get a bottle of bub. Like Eminem's a fucking genius, dude. <clears throat> Look, man. They gonna give him the Ciroc money. Corduroy's on sale. He wore white tees for 10 years straight. No, no. Still got the white tee under the new clothes. No, no. The white tee under the suit. He got the suit with the suit with the sweater with the white tee underneath that. No, no, no. He dusty with money, man. Charlemagne the God part two. And this ain't no disrespect. Oh my goodness. I'm just calling it how I see it, man. Hold on. Hello, hello, who this is, man? It's Sean Blaze? Yeah, man, it's Sean Blaze. Who this be, bro? What's happening, man? What's Why, going on with online? you, man? You called in. We want to hear exactly what you got to say, bro, man. We want to hear you, what you got to say. We ready to hear you talk, bro. You called in. We want to hear what you got to say. We listening. Oh, Sean Blaze. Yo, that's me. We waiting. You live. The nerve of this peasant oh calling to the highest of highs, the Mount Olympus, the greatest throne to ever be throned. And you got the audacity to call Dusty. The nerve. How dare you? You disrespect my channel, my people. You disrespect my life. You disrespect everything. Why, why do I work hard? Where is the point? When you dusty, who you dusty square, you called up here. You're not even prepared. You dare step on the royal marble floors with your pink. Your dirty pink slippers. Nigga. Don't ever in your life ever call back never ever again. I think it's a bad move for them to even be considering doing something like this. 50, he don't want the drink. He want the steak, the potatoes, the shrimp, and some cranberry juice. Oh my goodness. Who gonna buy it? He's standing, they got him in the liquor store. The cutout, he's standing there looking stupid. He trying to be sexy. You see Vivica A. Fox shadow in the picture. Don't nobody wanna drink that shit. No, no. Look at this man. 50 was our initial top choice as brand ambassador. How? He gonna take the tea and put a Ciroc, <laughs> and put a Ciroc bottle on it. That's corny, man. They know Diddy was the one selling all that liquor. And let's be real, man. The reason why they mad is because Diddy was talking some black power I ain't want to hear a brother talking like that, especially when you got a city girl in your arm looking st stupid, man. No, no. This, man. So, Rock, young motherfucking Miami, though. Ooh. That box probably. <clears throat> that man, she probably. Who knows? She looking her panties like, oh my God. Hey, what's going on? Like, mama! Mama! 
What is this? She wake up, look at her panties and run straight to the emergency. Like, yo, yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, what up, Sean? It's me, the Armenian dragon. What's happening, brother? No doubt. What's on your mind, bro? Man, so I'm glad that, you know, you're doing this live tonight because, you know, 50 Cent is my favorite rapper and I think he's the greatest of all time. And uh, whatever he's doing with this whole Ciroc thing, you know, I, I applause for that. You Yo, know how I mean? long you been in America, bro? I've been in America my whole life, my brother. Your whole life? So you born Armenian American like Kim Kardashian or something? Uh, nah, not really, bro. Not like Kim Kardashian. But, Ain't she uh, Armenian? Like... What's up? She, yeah. She's half Armenian. She's half. So y'all don't represent her like that? Uh, I mean, you know, uh, oh. she's, she's Armenian, but, you know, uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh. I don't know. Y'all not even But not rocking. me. I'm not here to speak on behalf of the race, but me personally, like, I mean, whatever. So y'all ain't but, trying to uh, claim them like that. Y'all not trying to claim Armenian people not trying to claim the Kardashians. Well, I mean, you know, a lot, a lot don't. You know what I mean? Because, I don't know. Just, I mean, like, I mean, the whole family, like, not a lot of people like them anyways, you know, whether you're Armenian or not. You know, there's a lot of people that don't like that family. Cause that family is like cursed, you know what I mean? Like whoever gets with that family, you know, some happy wow. shit happens to them. Oh, you know even. what I mean? I mean? Damn. But you know, yeah. She got I the mean, beautiful that's... features. She got the um the beautiful features though. She represent for the Armenian people. Don't get it. She does look Armenian. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I understand that, and and you know that's why like uh, that's why a lot of uh, you know brothers out here in L.A. Trying to, you know, get at them Armenian girls. You know what I mean? Hold on. <laughs> wait a minute, bro. Yo, do you think she altered her face to look more Armenian? Do you think she paid to give a more bold Armenian look than she had when she was younger? Because she ain't look like that when she was young. Um, I mean, I don't think she did all that just to look more Armenian. But, I mean, I don't know. She has her own look. And whether females are Armenian or not, but if they do have, you know, that dark hair. She looked like her name was tone. Selena before she um started getting the plastic <laughs> surgery and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, who knows? You know, who knows? Um, but yeah, a lot of girls nowadays, I mean, Armenian or not, like, you know, there's Middle Eastern girls, there's, you know, white girls, even Latinas and stuff, you know? that are trying to look like her you know what i mean she has that yeah. has that look yo. that you know kind of changed the culture of, you know she the standard uh, you know? yo she the standard of uh modern day beauty let me explain something to people man because you know it's a lot of beautiful women out there and you got to think a lot of women have standards when it comes to beauty and marilyn monroe been a standard since forever i think kim kardashian mm -hmm. is the new marilyn monroe my brother yeah yeah i mean shit if, if every not every but if a lot of girls are trying to be like look like her you know what i mean that i mean that should tell you something you they, know yeah they yeah. want and, that and that look you're right that look i mean her look is really good she looks good you know what i mean same thing with marilyn monroe she Girl, like the she best Kim Kardashian is like the best of all worlds. She can, you know, like she has a universal beauty appeal. Of course, of course. Yeah, that's why she was named, you know, sexiest woman or whatever, you know, alive and all that. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, so, you know, my boy Kanye, you know, he went crazy. Hold on, wild bro. After Hold on. Yeah. I need you to answer this question, bro. And I Go need ahead. you to be honest about this. I need you to answer this question for the whole world to hear you, man. This is going to be the most important question of the day, man. I need you to answer it. I'm all ears, man. Can you see 50 Cent with Kim Kardashian? Can you see her being with him and vibing with him? And she got the power t-shirts on and shit. Can you see Kim <laughs> Kardashian oh <my> <laughs> with 50 Cent, bro? You know, you know... 
Uh, that's funny that you ask that because, um, what's it called? Uh, like, I've thought of that before, like, because I've seen her with all these rappers and, like, basketball players and, you know, all these figures and stuff. But me, like, my role model when it comes to, like, you know, music, entertainment, and all that is 50 Cent. So, like, I've thought about that before, and definitely, hell yeah. I think I think 50 would kind of, like, put her in her place, in a sense, you know, kind of like how Jay-Z and Beyonce are. They'll be like the new Jay-Z Beyonce. You know what Yo, I mean? Yo, man, uh, you I, know what? They Kanye need to work do that. That's, that's you know? probably the man who she need to get with, man. And we appreciate exactly. your phone call, too, man. Don't be no stranger. We got love for you, bro. We're going to holler at you later, man, no doubt. And I appreciate his call, but he totally missed the point. He totally missed the point. The point I was trying to make was 50 ain't got the swag to be with no Kim. Look what he got on, a t-shirt with this is 50 on it. It's swag. Look at his swag, where his swag, man? Tank tops, New York fitteds. He's so predictable. You don't know what Kanye gonna have on. He come out with some booty chokers, some Super Mario boots, just to keep his bitch on her toes, y'all. No disrespect. I need to see this, man. Y'all need to see this. He acting a fool with this chick. His new wife, she strictly booty. He don't love her or nothing. He don't give a fuck about her. He just want, he on the boat getting sloppy top. He's like, eh, eh, eh. He living like a squirrel with this chick. He gonna tap for the rest of his life. If he pass away, he gonna be on top of her. No, no. He gonna be like, ah, 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 ah. No. That's gonna be the end of the Kanye story. He put her to work everywhere they go. Look like they just like, he just got done wearing her out. She's like, I can use a break sometimes, Kanye. I mean, damn. Like, just get ready for round 15. Oh my goodness. She come out with no drawers on. Like, damn, she ain't got time to put on her panties. Just... No, no. Kanye, can I wash up? No, 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 no. He want her funky. She look like a sex slave. Like, oh, not again. When she write her book, it's gonna be depressing, man. Like he took me and made me his Kim Kardashian puppet. I wasn't allowed to talk. I was only allowed to gawk. They saying he worse than Diddy. They said he way worse. When it come to other men, y'all don't understand. But y'all gonna get some act right tonight. Let me type this in, man. Every now and then, I gotta put y'all up on game. And y'all gonna take it, and all you other YouTubers gonna take it and make it your own videos while I'm asleep. Kanye was groomed just like Usher was groomed. Damon Dash sent him to Diddy, and by the time he got there, Fonsworth Bentley was there. The groomer of groomers. He gonna get you right from Jesse Smollett to Kanye West, allegedly Andre 3000. Oh my goodness. Had him throwing up his hands for grace. Pretty Pink's Baby Blues, the whole squad. Kanye West, Farnsworth, Bentley, and all the rest of the guys. Keep it on the low though. He put the umbrella, you ain't gotta be shamed. He gonna block all your shame. He gonna bring the sunshine and the rain. A fairy, a fairy, and no disrespect to him. Kanye was the Peter Pan and he was the fairy, but y'all don't know where the fairy come from, man. Y'all don't know, but y'all gonna find out. Y'all don't know where the fairy got his very existence, man, but y'all gonna learn tonight. Look at this, man. Diddy was the one. Diddy introduced him 
they was grooming. He needed a groom, a, a substitute teacher. Oh my a substitute teacher. For that moolah, for that he had the, the Farnsworth man help turn you out faster, quicker, groom you. He take you to your fairy destination with some X and some liquor with Cassie eating pineapples in the pool. He'll show you the life like Usher. Usher went when he was 12 years old, blew his little mind, blew his little back out. His mother ain't even give a damn. It's sad. That's how they moving in the industry, man. You can't get away from them. But that's Negro in no there. Yo, them phone lines still open. I hope the show is entertaining because we ain't even really got started on what we trying to do. But I got another show. So I'm going to have to cut it short in a little bit. But I'm going to have fun in the meantime. We headed over to Docs Daily. We got a new member. Where she at? We got new members. They all about to get shout outs. Bruce, hold on, switch up the music, man. Bruce Rice. He over there doing his thing, man. He done stepped up in the choir with a pearly white robe. He about to voice his opinion on the matter, man. Yo, Bruce Rice, welcome, my brother. You can say whatever you like. You can sing it, shout it. You in the choir, man. The floor is yours. Do what you got to do in the chat, Bruce. That's why you here, man. And you get shout outs. In a personal relationship with Sean Blazington, man. Detroit's finest. Gina Diaz. That sound like some Latin love in the building, man. I'm, 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 I'm floored. Gina Diaz. What y'all know about that? Oh, my goodness. I told y'all, y'all better get ready. Gina Diaz got that flavor. She in the building and she joined the channel. Y'all know y'all like that. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, what's up, Sean? This is Mac. What's going on, Mac? We over here talking about 50 Cent. They claiming he the new CEO of Ciroc, man. This is blowing my mind. Did he set up Diddy so he could take over all of this man's businesses? What you think about this, bro? Ah, uh, man, I don't know. I feel like, um, I don't know. I feel like 50 has enough, uh, enough on his own. I don't really think he needs to knock Puffy out of the way, but he's been constantly going at puffy you know basically talking about him taking people shopping and stuff but i don't know i i, I don't i don't think so but the the thing though is is i think people probably now are are saturated with hearing about diddy but what people really want to hear is that you know if you're gonna you know incre you know they say in diddy did all this stuff but the thing though is they always mention <clears throat> they mentioned all these parties and i'm like in order for you to have a party a party consists of people so why has it been that you know we've had news 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 and and we're still not hearing any more information on people that were you know other higher-ups that were involved in his activities you know what bro they make it seem like diddy was having sex with himself like exactly. it wasn't people participating in all of this madness that they say he got going on like he was a lone wolf and then had nobody to participate with like he had on a vr set on some grand theft auto shit doing shit disrupting the world man they did the same thing with all kelly they made it seem like all kelly was the only freak like he wasn't involved with he ain't had no contacts like people wasn't sending people to all kelly man how could they even make this possible Right. And, and look, OK, so people try and I'm not I'm not defending Diddy, but, you know, the the parties and stuff. OK, they weren't they weren't making a big deal about like Hugh Hefner when he was alive. I mean, Hugh Hefner got old and passed away. I mean, they started in, in even in the doll industry when they talk about freak offs. Well, you know, as a society, you know, <laughs> people have been watching freak offs for years on Pornhub and it, it, it and it don't get any it, it don't get any gayer than than double penetration so people you know people is pinning all this stuff on diddy but i'm just like but our society you know if you were really gonna you know dime a lot of people out there should be a lot more people going down other than just diddy man i think it's just like a public lashing you know what i'm saying 
and you can easily do it because black folks, we like piranhas. We waiting for the meat to drop so we can devour. We looking, we well, waiting for the star to fall so we can dine. Like, yes, we couldn't wait. We couldn't wait to get close enough to tear a motherfucker down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but to a, to, to a certain extent, I, I can laugh at the, the jokes and all the different stuff. And, and, and some of that stuff, I mean, even if, if you were around Diddy, you know, they would they would clown Diddy because because remember when, you know, Charlemagne played back the uh, the footage when, you know, he was talking all zesty on Drink Champs. But, you know, people I feel like a lot of people I mean, I don't think people are that malicious where they want to see Diddy actually, uh, you know, get, you know, killed or whatever or, you know, whatever severe stuff happened to him. But if if Diddy is guilty of all the stuff that he they said that he has done. I still feel like it's bigger than him because if you're going to, if you're going to accuse him, you know, he, his entourage, all these other people around. I mean, did you hear, did you hear that audio tape that was supposed to be with him and Meek? Yeah, I heard it, man. It, it sounds pretty gruesome. <laughs> it sounds pretty gruesome and realistic, but, but my thing though is, is that, um, we look, we're living in the age of all these cell phones and all this different stuff. And I'm saying, if it is true, then we should be seeing a lot more, you know, a lot more people getting caught up and a lot more, you know, documented footage of, of whatever was going on. And then even, even going back, I'm not even going back. Remember when even Jamie Foxx was the first one to say that there was wild stuff going on at the party. But I'm like, look, you just, is that if, if you go into them parties, then what were you doing there in the first, I mean, if you know how that person gets down, that would be the last time I'd be at a Diddy party. Come on, man. People with money. Hell yeah, they're going to be funny. Because they got money, man. When you, the money make you funny. It just do. It's like, damn, you got all this paper. What is there to do with your mother? What you think? Diddy going back and forth to Walmart? Oh my goodness. You get funny with the money. It's, a, it's no, only but, a certain lifestyle you could live with that money, man. What you going to do? Where the party at? And if we going to party, I need the motherfucking party. It's stressful being a celebrity. Everywhere they go, people up their ass. You don't know if you could trust people, if they like you for you or what the fuck. You get lost within yourself as a celebrity. That's a horrible life to live. They all yeah, turned but, out and crazy. But, when does it get to the point where you you just ain't even satisfied with women though? I mean that that's the crazy thing. It's like I I, I don't get that. I mean where you gotta in, Man, in, incorporate all the other stuff. You gotta understand, Diddy, don't went to another level with his shit, man. When he get high, when he get loaded, when he party, he don't have no control over his morality whatsoever man he take it all the way to the max and that's why they had him on the Ciroc bottles and it was selling like he a fucking rock star a real life black rock star man he out there living like motherfucking all of the famous rock stars ozzy osbourne back in the day he a wild boy he'll hit right. a blunt he'll take a shroom he'll pop an x he don't give a fuck Fuck, and he stayed clean with it, stayed classy with it. They needed him to sell that damn liquor because he's a bad boy, and they was loving it. The, the shit was flying off the shelves. Everybody and their mama had a bottle of Ciroc because they know that this a bad motherfucker representing this damn liquor company, man. It wasn't about the liquor. It was about Diddy. People wanted to wild out. It's Friday, been working hard. You got some time. You about to go Diddy, Diddy the city, oh man. Put on them chains. Get fly. Get a haircut. Diddy, Diddy all day for the city, man. But no, no, yeah, but nothing's wrong with that though. But what, like I said, but they talking about all this other crazy stuff that was going on at these parties, and I'm like, oh my what? It, it, I don't know. It just like I said, it don't seem like the the everything adds man, up. Man, I don't I mean. explain everything, man. And we appreciate what you had to say too, cause you was really keeping it real, man. So the next time we go live, man, you definitely got to call back. Woo! Right, peace. Woo! Gonna holla at you later, bro. Man. Okay, man. Back to what I was saying. Back to what I was saying, man. Me. Oh my Me. 
What the fuck? Ah! Hey. What's saying? For that mulo. For that mulo. For that mulo. What I was saying. Y'all heard what he had to say. But back to me. 50 Cent is in a world of trouble because he going to have to show and prove when it's time to do them promos and he got to drink the liquor and the Lord messing with him because oh he don't want to touch the bottle. But whatever reason, Uncle Junebug was an alcoholic or whatever, dig it, you going to have to drink it. Diddy would have took back the whole bottle. He done it plenty of times. Come on, man. How you gonna have a church boy do the devil's work? Diddy did the devil's work with the liquor. 50 ain't, he ain't about to do it. <clears throat> Unless he just gonna come out as a damn, what if 50 get ignorant? Cause they talking about Cassie making a comeback. And she tired of her husband. She tired of with the kids. She tired of that shit. She want to get back out there and party, baby. Oh my goodness. Cassie, she getting old. She reminiscing on her past. She like, I could make another run with these buns, man. For that mula. And they look, all she got to do is drop that cowboy hero For that mula. and get with the five zero, man. And they going to be back. And good graces, man. He ain't got a free call off like Diddy. 50 ain't even got a free call off like how Diddy did it, man. A Saturday love. Call her Sherelle. A Saturday love. Put her back in the spotlight and sell some Ciroc. They need to get her back. She the only way. We want to taste Cassie. Point blank, period. Oh my Hold on, yeah. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yeah, it's your boy Kevin. Kevin Gosa. What it do, bro? You good? Yeah, pretty good. No doubt, man. We talking yeah, about 50. Good. Yeah, we talking about 50, the Ciroc Diddy. What you got to say about that, bro? Oh, well, I can say one thing that I noticed these certain patterns were like the news everything be broadcasting and putting people out and stuff like how you were saying earlier about like how they slander everybody i see the stuff with that like a lot of people right? if you true, called up yeah. here toothless man and i know what it is i know what it's like it's hard when you struggling with them teeth man but trust me i've been there you got to understand, mm -hmm. this is a five-star presentation. We could barely even hear you, man. You standing on Mount mm -hmm. Olympus looking stupid. Everybody got their thumbs down. They booing because uh -huh. your phone ain't on point. I'm pretty sure you got a lot of good things you got to say, but since you sounding all muffled, don't nobody even really care no more. The show must continue. Now I'm going to walk you off the stage, but I'm going to tutor you in the process. <laughs> you can't come up here like that. It's bad. Have some integrity. Button up, get it together, wash your ass, do something, get a new phone. You disrespecting a, a beautiful brand. This is like Ciroc. This is like Ciroc. And you call up here smelling like beer. Why would you do something like that? You call up the Mount Olympus, though the angels could see you, and you looking like a massacre. This is bad news. How could you? You disrespecting the royal thing. That ain't right. Who raised you? Where is your integrity? I'm disgusted. I dare you call the Mount Olympus with this bullshit. And I appreciate you, brother, but we got standards. And I got to uphold them, man. Shit, this is tough living. You got to make it. You trying to bring down my stock? No, 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 no. We can't have that. I'm doing this. And you playing. Thank you so much. We're going to holler at you later, man. Real talk. Shout out to him. Ooh, my God. That really make the show, don't it? That's his fault, not mine. iPhone users only. Hello, hello. Who this is, man? Man, it's Kevin again. I had to call you back, bro. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. You hear me now? Yo, bro. We here. You yeah, called yeah, back. Bro. This you said this your second time calling? Yeah, I had to had to down back. Had to double back. Yeah, I had to down back. You said you couldn't hear. You couldn't hear, so you had to double back and call into a call into the presentation again because you got something you gotta say. What? Did you hear what I was saying? Like, how my is. brother, you have traveled down the yeah. dead end. Oh it's a dead end, and you ain't got enough room to turn around. Your ass stuck. Now I know you thinking you gonna back out or do something like that to get out of this situation, but I promise you, it ain't gonna work like that. Not only is you in violation. But we got a one call minimum and you still sounding raggedy. You was raggedy the first time and you ain't changed a damn thing. You traveling down the dead end street, brother. This is it. You at the finish line. It's over. Whatever you was trying to do, it failed. And I got to remind you that whatever you trying to say right now, it don't matter. You are trash and you not worthy. Your bars is whack. Everything about you is horrible. How dare you? The audacity of these mutants calling into my production, man. And you're going to be all right. We're going to pray for your retarded soul. God bless his heart, man. Pray for him. Over, Reg. Go do, do what we do, man. Get that clown the fuck out of here. Yeah. Anyway, the devil out there working, man. They definitely working on Diddy. Not in a million years do Fifty Cent have the swag to sell some liquor, man. Unless it's F and vodka, man. Like, what does it taste like? F and vodka. What is it? F and Baka, we trying to sell it. We need a salesman. Who gonna help us sell it? I guess FN. Eminem didn't want to do it. Like, M, it'll be great. It would be freaking bogus if you could just sell it, M. I call you back. G unit. Sell anything, man. Who you with? Like, I guess. I'm like, okay, we're gonna go with it. Hey, everybody. It's F and Vodka. No, 50 Cent. Yup, yup, in the club. Turn up. Turn up. They in Silicon Valley kicking themselves in the ass right now. It didn't do well, dude. Like, this bottle is totally gonna turn up in the club. For that moolah. It didn't turn out like that. He'll fix you a drink, but he ain't drinking shit. He'll let you have the whole rack. You ain't never seen him put the bottle to his lips, man. He'll hold the bottle and point like this for you. Like, this ain't mine, this yours. What type of advertisement is that? He need to be pointing at himself with the bottle turned up to his head. <laughs> Like, yup, come get it. I'm the liquor man. He never took a sip. He still got the cherry in the glass. A real nigga would have ate that cherry and slammed that drink hard. A real one would have took that cherry and got that out the damn picture. Why you let them put the cherry in your glass? Still got the cherry in the cup. He looking like he looking for somebody to get a drink to. No, no. Like Bogo, Bogo. But I want to get one free Bogo. Got the Bogo sale and all that. She look like she ain't even think about that liquor. <clears throat> if I bottle, hug a hunk. Oh my goodness. That's all she thinking. You think she gonna go home and rock with that shit? Hold on, yeah. Got a call, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, Sean. This is Tijuana. 
Oh man, we just got exotical up in here, y'all. Wait one second, man. What is up? What's good, Sean? I called last time and you was like, oh, the water just hit me up. I'm like, all right, then. I'll call myself you wanna. That's what How you it doing? is, man. Yo, I'm over here. I'm trying to do all right, but they just gave Ciroc to 50 Cent. I'm trying to figure who gonna be inspired to go buy some Ciroc if 50 Cent is the ambassador, man. Well, I'll tell you something, not me, because I know he's been having that vitamin drink that I bought a couple times, and it was good. It was okay, but not the rock. I, I do believe he's being petty, dude. You know they look he's been having beef, um, him and uh, Diddy. And also, remember, um, he just got mad because uh, he she's like a she was like a prostitute or something like that. So yeah, I do believe he's being petty, uh, fifty. And obviously, he'll do it for money, but he already got money, so. I don't know, but I would definitely not buy it though. I'm not gonna be buying that. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's levels to having money. Now we know 50 is paid, but Diddy is a whole nother competitor. Is he a bigger boss? Don't get it twisted, 50 is a boss, but is he a bigger boss than Diddy, especially when your baby mother is a sex worker for Diddy? Oh and now <laughs> she's filing a lawsuit against 50, accusing him of shit, trying to tarnish his name she's still working for diddy yeah no that's crazy so okay so check this out so he's trying to become that 50 because diddy right now you know his reputation is going down like a lot of people are like nah they don't they don't care how he looks like because over the weekend he apparently called a paparazzi and he was like dancing outside his mansion like pretending that everything is okay but it's not because uh in the media, he's already on the floor. Nobody likes him, you know? All this stuff came out. But that being said, about that, I heard on the streets, you know, allegedly, that um, the reason why they raided his home, and it was them people, like the big ones, was because he was actually trying to find some, like, sort of files to take him away from him. That way he can stop, like, blackmailing people. That's what I heard. But that's an interesting theory, yeah. I don't know, but yeah, going back to the 50 thing, um, I mean, kudos to him. Good for him, but I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> Are you going to buy it, Sean? Man, I don't think nobody going to buy it, man. We, hey, Ciroc is like Incredible Hawk or the drinks of the past that was popping. They don't last that long, especially nah, I don't think when so. it got a black brand into it, man, because we ready for them. We on to the next. Them other people, they'll drink Jack Daniels for a million years. Black people, we like to mix it up from time to time. You know what I'm saying? That, that is true. That is true. But yeah, I think I'll stick to the Henny. I think I'm good with the Henny. That, that gets the job done. I'm not getting no Ciroc. Hold <laughs> on. What's the, trash. what's the Latin drink of choice? Latin? Um. Well, people usually drink tequila, but to be honest with you, I just smoke my weed and keep it to myself because I've drank tequila before and I don't like it. <laughs> it's Hold just on. too much. It's too strong. So the Latin drink of choice is tequila. Well, for a lot of people, but they mostly drink beer like Corona, um, Modelo, you know, all that Spanish stuff. So Corona's <laughs> get it popping in the Spanish hood? Oh, hell yeah, dude. For the whole weekend. Like, you see, that's my thing. Yo, I want you to get... You You were saying on the, how I said this is my second time calling, and you was like, oh, that you was going to come down here for like a month. You don't need to bring money for food. I'll cook for you, okay? We don't Damn. do that over here. What, what What you like? What you like? Damn. Do you like steak? Do you like... Shoot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, dude, <laughs> She's stunning. Yeah, I'm just playing with you. I'm just like, I like it. Like, yo, you, you hella cool. I, I could definitely tell. And let me tell you something. That's Corona for the weekend, okay? Not just Friday, not just Saturday. We finishing Monday morning. <laughs> so it goes down the whole weekend with the Coronas. Hell yeah. Ask anybody down in Texas, whether it's in LA, you ask. Oh, child. Oh, Don't even get me started. <laughs> oh, I'm understanding. That is how it goes. Damn. Hell yeah! It got yo. It got the Spanish stuff. I never noticed it had the Spanish writings all over the bottle. Like, come get it. Go ahead. Exactly. So, oh so what God, exactly yeah. do it do for you and all that? Cause I'm about to go down there and try one of these things. What exactly am I setting myself up for with these Coronas? Hey, look, if you could take it, I mean, who knows? But if you want to mix it up, like you say, add a little bit of honey in there. Oh, yeah. I don't think you're even going to last like a day, a night. 
And that's okay. And that's okay. That's fine. You know? And they got different flavors. For what? I mean, who knows? I mean, alcohol in general, I mean, it doesn't really taste good, let's say. You know, how I said, I just moved my weed out. Let's smoke some weed and I'm good. But look, 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 in fact, I'm so sorry because I'm not trying to get you distracted all that. I was just trying to add to the other to the other caller. But um, yeah, I don't want to waste your time, Sean. But I love you again. I love your channel. And I appreciate you, dude. I missed you over the weekend. I was like, who the fuck is Sean? Man, I'm <laughs> over here. I'm on the floor crying and all that because you're the first one to call up here, you know, showing me that type of love because ain't nobody else called up here showing me no love like how you show me love. Man. So I'm, mm, mm, <laughs> Look, I've been mm. hearing these callers and I'm like, yo, why, they, why are they so salty? Why do they care about these celebrities like that? Like, oh, they over here defending oh, them like it's their cousin or something. Mm, <laughs> I'm trying to keep it together, but I just want to thank you for your phone call because it was so inspiring. For sure. Thank I you. love you. I love you so love, okay? <laughs> and you're doing great. Mm, okay, I'm good. Hey, I'm good, but... would take for another person of another to show love to a black black brother man oh my goodness i ain't get no love like that for my own people tonight man and i know my people watching listening don't subscribe and hit that like and notification i appreciate my people man but why y'all gotta call in here scratching your booty oh my And acting all belligerent. She hit me with the coronas and we was talking about I thought I was on the island. Oh my goodness. She said something about the coronas and you mixed that with the with the something about some pineapple juice. She said I could come down there, ain't gotta pay for it. she go she gonna cook the food. For that moolah. She gonna cook. She asked me, do you like steak? Steak expensive. She stunted on, y'all stomachs was growling when she was stunting. And that's how people get caught up with people like Diddy. For that moolah. He'll ask you what you want to eat, where you want to go, what you want to drink. You get around Diddy, that cologne. It's the cologne, the pheromones in the cologne. he be like, hey man, what's up? You give 50, you give Diddy like 50 hugs. Before you leave the party, you looking for his ass just to hug him again. Like, I need another whiff, play, I need another whiff. Oh my goodness. Like, damn, man, you been sniffing all my shit, man. I don't even smell like nothing no more. Nigga hug me about five times, man. You know I got the Sean John smelling amazing. That's why the ladies over here. She look like she the main freak. They could never freak like Chloe. No, 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 no. You could see it in her face. Kim Kardashian looked like she jealous. Cause her sister freak energy is off the charts. And this young one trying to keep up. Look at her. No, 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 no. She trying to keep up with the freaky. She had an overnight facial body makeover. She went and became a Kardashian. She not even Armenian. She paid for her Armenianism. And they brought their little sister to the party to be around Diddy to show off her pretty face and see how he react to her curvy waist and her bubblicious booty. She new to the game. But this one right here, they say OJ Simpson, her father. So you need to be careful. You play her real bad, yo ass, you gonna end up in a trash bag somewhere. Her dad a lawyer to talk his way out of any damn thing. Kanye West still believed that she was with him for him and not for his money. She got eight kids and Kanye West's credit card. Eight kids and another man's credit card. 
Yeah, he's selling sneakers and shit. She gonna be rich forever. Got Kanye in her back pocket. Let's roll. She took her ass back to school. And Diddy observed. He like a... He the vulture. And they all went. Look at her. She tried to throw a leg. She had to... She had to hold her leg down. She had to keep herself from throwing her leg clean up across this man's waist. She had to stop herself. Cause she'll bust it open right. And he looking and smelling like money, man. They be hanging around the basketball courts, blowing kisses at a basketball player, seeing who gonna take the bait. And don't even get me started. Damn. Beautiful Beyonce knows, man. Where the hell is Aaliyah? Where she at? That's all I got to say about that. I ain't no damn, um, what's her name? Jaguar right. I'll be Jaguar wrong before I try to be, (laughs) before I try to be Jaguar right. I'll tell you a straight fable before I say anything offensive to a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? But that's Negro here, no. Diddy always been the life of the party. He sells liquor. It don't get no badder than that. You gotta be a bad motherfucker to sell some liquor in the first place. Need to see this, man. You gotta be a bad ass if you trying to sell some liquor, man. This pirate, whoever he was, he was a motherfucker. Best believe that. Captain Morgan wasn't no punk. And he was with the shits. Pull up on your island, take your chick. Come on, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, Sean. It's Kelly from Indiana. How you doing? How you doing, sister? We over here talking about Diddy and what's going on with 50 Cent being the new CEO of Ciroc. And me personally, I don't think this is a real good look. How you feel about all this? I don't think it's a good look either. It's kind of fishy. Kind of fishy, like somebody funky and all that no some fishy like some some fishy like how like some fishy huh i feel you man it be some fishy stuff going on for real yeah i want to call you about your jake from Ralph from Texas, you know, I had the cancer, remember? And you were talking about the other when T.D. Jake first got pulled into it. Yeah, I do think uh, 50 Cent set up to First of all, man, I understand your hardships and everything you're going through. And I pray for you, man. I know you called before and everything. And I don't mean no disrespect to you whatsoever. But I gotta let you know, man. This video is about 50 Cent, Diddy, Sarai. It's a premiere. A grand premiere. It's a it's a big, major Hollywood production. And I appreciate you for calling and showing some love. But you don't sound like... I don't mean no disrespect. Because I know you said what you said, man. And I ain't trying to be mean, but... This is a legacy. I got a standard. I got to uphold. And I'm not saying that you not good enough to be calling in. But the floors is pearly white. Oh my it's a it's a destination of greatness. And I'm not saying you're not great. But damn. It's an exclusive. It's a world premiere. It's box office television. People lined up around the block waiting to get in. They out, It's cold. They out there waiting. Oh They looking, they standing, they looking, they waiting for the line to start moving. And I appreciate you, sister. Don't be, yo, I want for everybody in the chat to say a prayer for this woman. Pray for her hard. Pray for her, man, because I'm going to be praying for her too, man. And we going to get back to the show. I love you to death, sister. And we praying for you. God bless you. And we going to holler at you real, real soon, man. So much love. 
A Debbie Downer to a Diddy party. Oh my goodness. For that moolah. A Debbie Downer to a Diddy party? That's like 50 Cent becoming the CEO of Ciroc. That's a Debbie Downer. Because we not trying to be in the club with a bottle of bub. That's what old people used to do. You can't find me in the club with a bottle of bub. Got bills to pay. And so do he. How he gonna sell this? How he gonna market this, man? Why people be calling up here with that? Oh I can't even think about the video no more. Like, damn, I probably need to put some more lights on, make this shit bright. I need to make this shit a sunny day so y'all won't get it twisted. It's a positive energy freak off. It's a Diddy video. We trying to turn up and it got something to do with Ciroc. We trying to turn up, man. I need to liven this shit up. Whatever I got to do to get it right. Find some music, find a beat or something. Cause I got to fix my video. Find the right beat to fix the video, man. What we got? We ain't got no beats to fix this. Hold on, turn this shit up. Turn it up. God, this beat a thousand years old, but I need this to save my chance. Turn that shit up, man. Turn it up. We gonna have some fun up in here. Gonna have a little bit of fun, man, with the people in the chat. Cause I know some of these people. It's a lot of members in here too. And the reason why they members, cause a lot of times I be having collateral. And I feel like exposing some people instead of these celebrities. You know what I'm saying? Cause King Greens, y'all don't want to know how he got his name. Y'all don't want to know how he moving out there in the streets. He telling on himself with that name, but I ain't going to say no more, man. Gina Diaz. She already know, man. I could expose her bad, but I ain't going to do that because Gina, good people. Shout out to Griselda. I mean, G Gina Diaz, man. Make your money, baby. Katrina Edwards and QS. Do y'all know what the QS even stand for, man? She looked real familiar. Cause that's Quincy's sister. The other girl that Kim allegedly had behind Diddy's back. Trying to say is Albie Shaw's baby. Do she look like Quincy's sister? That's what they talking about, man. I can't be talking about people like that. Cause I know a little something on everybody in the chat. All the members, the people that really, really matter. And all y'all matter, but the members? Like Nita Cherie. She got a past out of this world, man. Did y'all know she was a showgirl for MC Hammer? For that moolah, for Alle that moolah, for that moolah. Allegedly, man, she was the one with the humps and the bumps. Can't touch this. Dancing real fast with the spandex on. Allegedly, that I ain't trying to put everybody business out in the street. But there's some famous people in the chat. Like Suge Knight, little brother right there. Oh my goodness. People ain't know that this was Suge Knight's little brother and his only claim to fame is the fact that he look a little bit like Suge Knight. He look like Gene Dill, if you ask me, but. Smokey Smoke, all y'all, man. I know y'all information. Y'all don't subscribe to the channel. I, I know shit about y'all scared to hit that like button because you never know. Y'all porn hubs, all that stuff. be pop. Y'all just don't know. Y'all on this damn computer not knowing that the Geek Squad live next door and they'll do anything. Got all y'all information, man. Y'all think I only got documents on the celebrities. This is collateral. Cause if you don't show up in my chat, I might just expose your ass. You get home, the FBI waiting outside. Talking about what did you do with the turtle that you sold together with the frog? Y'all weird people, man. I know your secrets, but that's Negro here no day now. 50 cent outside, smoking a bogey. 
in the rain. Oh my goodness. Cause his baby mother, his baby mama is a sex worker for Diddy. For that moolah. She working her tail on the night and day. She gotta make the money. She gotta make the money for Diddy. No, no, no. All the all the stuff that he gave her, all she did was turn around and get the money to puff. For that moolah. Look for at that this moolah. man. 50 cents X. Daphne Joy accuses him of scrape and being an absent father in her shock post as she brands Diddy sex lawyer lawsuit character assassination. But in the club, Maker hits back at false claims, so she's still working for Diddy. He used her to send a shot. Like, you better stop playing with me. Take that, take that. Hey, your baby moms. She's still on the payroll, nigga. She's still on the payroll. Oh She 37 years old. She making her own accusations. Like he touched me, hurt me. He hit me. Yes, he took advantage of me. Yes, I'm worse than Cassie. Oh my goodness. He did me worse than Cassie. He did. You thought Cassie was bad. Ooh, look at my missing tooth. Diddy probably knocked her tooth out. Now say 50 did that shit. And get the fuck out of my house. He a dirty, dirty pimp. A nasty, dirty man. He a dirty bandit. A filthy, a filthy, nasty, ditty man. A ditty devil. A dirty dog. Do everything bad that start with a D. That's him. A damn darn it. Doorknob. Dingy danger, man. Diddy is the devil. According to a lot of people. And they want 50 cent to sell the devil's liquor. That's like, that's sort of like, that's kind of like having a dusty on Mount motherfucking Olympus, man. It happens over and over. We got to kick them to the curb. People scared to call in. They need to be scared. Cause if you ain't right, you ain't going to be able to survive anyways. Hello. Hello. Who this is man? What's up, my brother? What's happening? This is your brother, Wad, man, from Harlem, New York, brother. Oh my no doubt. Calling all the way from Harlem, New York, man. The same place Diddy is from. How you feel about all this stuff, man? Yo, man, it's it's crazy, but that that, that move for 50 Cent with the Ciroc, I, did, I think that's a great move, man. Hmm. You think, think Harlem going you think Harlem gonna have them bottles? They gonna be standing out on Linux with them them 50 cent Ciroc bottles? Yeah, man, because it, it's not it's not that it's, it was oh Diddy's face. People like vodka in, in um, Harlem. They love that vodka, man. You know what I'm saying? And 50 Cent is, is a businessman. And he would handle the business totally different from the way Diddy handled business. But the way they handle business kind of lost a black audience, man, because it's like, okay, y'all doing the brother. We see what's going on. Y'all doing the brother bad. Y'all, y'all taking, yeah, yeah, yeah. y'all beating his ass with all this stuff. Now y'all want to fill the void with another black man. Like if Fifty do that, he definitely gonna be looked at as a Tom. But if, if you, look, if you remember, if you remember when Cassie first came out with her stuff, and and Fifty found out, the first thing he said to Diddy, he said, "Yo, Playboy, sell me your stuff. I give you a few dollars." Remember that? Yeah, he did say that. Right? He did. He said, yo, sell me your stuff. Put some money in your pocket. Because he knew they was going to come after him. You know what I'm saying? But over here in Harlem, I know a whole lot of people that drink Ciroc. It, it, but it's not because it was Diddy. They just like vodka. Yo, man, do you think... flavors. No doubt, no doubt. Do you think 50 set up Diddy for Ciroc so he can make a move like this? Because this is going to be a power move for uh, 50. Nah. I don't think he set him up, but once they got rid of him, it's wide open. It's you know wide open it's for wide so he, anybody. It's for wide anybody open for grab. DJ Khaled. Khaled will be a better look than 50. But did he jump on it? 
Shit, man, you just never know. Then he jumped on that shit quick. <laughs> they said they wanted him to be the initial before Diddy. Like they wanted fifty instead of Diddy. That's right. what they saying, which is a flat out lie. Yeah, yeah, I, I say that too. But yeah, on the real brother, I think he's great to be the face of hip hop, not just liquor. Fifty Cent great to be the face of hip hop because if Diddy gone, who gonna be the face? Shit, KRS One. Don't nobody give a damn about hip hop like that. Oh it's played out. The young kids got it and they mumble it. Don't nobody care. It's dead. Yeah, but but Fifty could bring the money back. He could bring and the money back to hip hop. They do it right. You see, it's a lot of artists out there, but they wasn't getting paid, bro. They was getting robbed. It died you a long time ago, man. People living off of the memory of hip hop. You ain't heard a Slick Rick story ever since. That's, ever I, since. that's true. That's true. It but only happened so one time, bro. Dougie Fresh and, and Slick Rick did it one time like that. It never been duplicated ever. It been dead. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what do you think? What do you think gonna happen? You know, to it because they still trying to do it. I don't know. Shit, man. Here come all. Um, Y'all, y'all get ready for the first Mexican superstar. That's all I got to say about it, bro. And they, <laughs> once they start, whatever music it is, and it's gonna mm -hmm. be popular, American born, right? That's gonna be the new game. It's gonna be on this to take or It don't care what your black ass want to hear on the radio no more. You better learn Spanish, cause it's over. Wait until you have your first Latin superstar at the yeah, Grammys. Sitting there, over here. sitting there at the Grammys with the cowboy hat on, looking fresh with the chain, <laughs> got the chicks with him, Rick, pretty boy, suave, <laughs> get up on the stage, Grammy of the year, <laughs> album of the year, song record of the year, they gonna be at the Grammys. Don't nobody will care what you listening to on the basketball court. You gonna be listening to yeah. some old ass trap, some old little bass. It's gonna be soul music. It's gonna be a new wave. It's over. <laughs> How y'all feel about that? How y'all feel about that? Uh, you could be right, man. I mean, it is time for a change or something, but we never know. You know, it might come out of nowhere, like you said. Man, it they might. gonna put Who the knows? sass on them. You see how Cardi B won the Grammy for that album? They already, to, they already ready to get it together. Cardi B ain't deserve that Grammy, but they gave it to her because she bring that Latin flavor. Who gonna go yeah. against that? You can't. Yeah. You can't. Right. You got that right. Yeah, see the face right now. Right now. Wow. She don't open the door. We ready for some more Cardi. We want to get more exotical with it. We ready for the, the Mexican Cardi. Where she at? And she going to be popping her shit with her girls and who want it. But see, that's what I'm saying. Once you get these cats out of the way, that would be a great power move what you're saying. All you got to do is pay these people, man. Pay these artists, you know, for their creativity and stuff. Pay them. And it might be something dope. So what do you think Fiddy's going to do? What do you, what you think he's going to do? I don't know. Come on, man. It ain't about no artwork. People don't cherish this shit, man. People selling their catalogs like it never meant nothing to them. Yeah. Like they get Nelly, money too. Nelly sold his catalog like that country grandma record was trash in his opinion. He probably ain't even mm. like the song. It just so happened to go viral. He like, shit, you want to buy the catalog? I, okay, I got lucky. A lot of these entertainers get lucky with some bullshit yeah. single that go viral. Yeah, yeah. Right right now, it's, it's all about the net. Shit. Yeah, you can man. do anything on there now. Even like your channel is, is booming, baby. I love your stuff, man. The, the net is where it's at these days. No doubt, man. Yo, and that's real. Five on the black hand side, man. We appreciate your call. It was all good until you called me baby, brother. I will not let it slide. I won't. I didn't say baby. You did. You did. And I ain't going to let it slide. I did not. And you said it on a Diddy video on top of that. And I want to thank you so much for your phone call. And don't Sean, be no stranger, bro. We going to holler. <laughs> we we going to holler. Hey, Sean. <laughs> That motherfucker call me baby, man. That wasn't cool. Old school Harlem cats. Maybe that's where Diddy got it from, man. And no disrespect to Harlem. Oh my goodness.
But I say anything. But I don't mean no disrespect. Maybe that's way. Maybe that was Diddy's mentor when he was a kid. Like, come here, baby. Let me holla at you, daddy. Let me see what you got to say now, daddy. Yo, hello, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo, what yo. What up? Hello, I got the wrong number. He smelt the air. He felt the vapors. It took for him to get on the phone to understand what it was like. He climbed all the way to the top of the mountain and couldn't take it. The riches, he knew he didn't belong. The statues, the beauty, the abundance, the views, the viewers, the subscribers. He took this tail and ran the other way. He couldn't stand the sight. He knew he didn't deserve to behold, to stand on the height. He was shaking in his boots, he shuddered, and then he fell. And when he woke up, he was no longer on the stage, man. He thinking about redeeming himself. He out there boxing. He running down the street like Rocky. Oh my goodness. He trying to get in shape. He want to be fit. He want to be amongst the greats. But he couldn't take the pressure. All he could say was that he had the wrong number, but he had the right number because somebody had to let him know that he ain't worthy. He got to run from the pearly gates. He know he ain't worth. He had to get the fuck. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Wow, it's King Green, man. What you talking about? Talking about what, what, what my name is? King Greens is on the phone, y'all. Yeah, and he want that drama. Yeah, like 50 Cent been that. acting like he want that drama with Diddy yeah. for years, man. And now they talking about giving 50 some rock, man. Do you think 50 gonna be able to sell it? Yeah, he should have kept selling that vitamin water because he buff, you know. No Diddy. You know he, what? He that was a good like look a for him, dude. man. He looked like he tired, like he probably got done playing some ball or something. He need to right. get his vitamins back in. G unit. Cause workout people don't, I don't think they drink alcohol like that. Ah, man, they ain't about to be promoting it and turning up. They need nah, to he, get. He, he, mm -hmm. he probably could if he uh he had to like infuse it in his shows, like put it in BMF power. He could probably do something like that. Yo, they had Young Buck in a squad, man. That's like all them dudes that was with Diddy. Like, oh, y'all was around. Y'all hang around Zesties. The whole G unit. What did G stand for? Gorilla. That's what they say. <laughs> what, what else could it possibly stand for since they had Young Buck all in the trailer with them? The gay unit. <laughs> How long do it take for somebody to realize that somebody might be zesty? Yeah, so Young Buck is selling better than 50 then. And he was trying to roll with cash money before that, so he probably was in good with mm. Baby and the whole... He willing to kiss Baby for a contract, probably. Right. And Tony Yayo ain't gonna never leave 50 side, so they got a close bond. So... Young Buck was with on um, Cash Money and he switched up like, I'm rolling with 50. I'm sorry, I got me somebody else. We talked it over. He said he liked what I got going on and I'm sorry, but I'm leaving. I can't do it with you no more because 50 interested and that's, that's my new man. Oh my and they had Buck on the phone crying to 50. Remember that? <laughs> it was like, well, you hurt me, you hurt me 50. You scarred me, you hurt me when you said what you said. He was acting like he was that man's bitch for real. Oh my goodness. That's a New York dude doing like this. Make the South look crazy. He a country boy. That ain't how, he from Nashville. I know they got some gunslingers right. down there. Like, well, what you doing? Right. He ain't represent. Nashville got some real shotters. Yeah, yeah. 
You come around there nope. playing, they pull out that rusty 38, like, hey, look at there. <laughs> you so, know it, that's how it comes. Okay. How you Keep feel about how you feel about rap music, man? Do you think it really even matter anymore? Because a lot of people still flying the flag with the new artists and all, but they ain't talking about shit. It's like it's a talent show. And regardless if the kids is retarded, you still going to clap your hands. That's what hip hop is right now. <laughs> it's a retarded talent show. And everybody want to give these kids a round of applause because they black. Uh, I mean, people going to always want to party. And we talking about that and looking at this. So you, you going to have to play the retarded stuff in the club and get drunk to it. That's Yo, it so it's like a retarded it. talent show. And you got to have manners. Because if you don't, they gonna say you a lame for talking about the retarded ones oh with a mic. I mean, but what you what you want to hear in the club or in your car when you riding? What you want? Which what would you rather hear? Some retarded or some educated? Yo, I experimented with some brother man, and, and this is crazy. I experimented with listening to rap music and then listening to jazz, and the results is crazy, man. When you listening to the rap music, no matter where you at, it seemed like you in the ghetto. You could be in the suburbs and it'll still feel like you in the ghetto, man. But when you turn on some jazz, you could be in the ghetto and feel like Nigga, you in the suburbs, man. You feel like you in the burbs <laughs> even when you in the ghetto. It give you a different mindset, man. I would rather listen to something soothing instead of some dude talking about nothing in my ear that's cool you ain't gonna get no no chicks though i don't want no look chicks like that <laughs> they for the streets you listening yeah. to little baby look i got love for little baby man he a hell of a rapper and all that but what he talk so about he ain't talking about nothing wholesome on, you put the jazz on and pull up the whole fools you're gonna pull some nice no I'm going to mind my motherfucking business. It's 2024. You ain't, what you think? You will be the ultimate weirdo out here trying to holler at a chick in public. They're going to dust you off and keep it. Who does that anymore? I wouldn't. I do. <laughs> you still do that? You be hollering at chicks in yeah. public? It's not yeah. good, man. We all... Black men, we already got fucked up stereotypes. And here, here come this. That's what they thinking. Here come this nigga. What this, <laughs> what, what this nigga want? You got to know that's what they thinking. Right? That's the first thing that's going to pop in their head as soon as you open your mouth. Do you really want to go through that, brother? It depends. Probably like, it's, it's probably a little like that in Houston. But in Louisiana, it ain't really like this. Come on, man having girl problems i feel bad for you son what, what else you said what else you said but nah you know me i'm gonna step down on him you know i'm true king yeah man. A, yeah true king man setting yeah. them up for the stunner what else you said bro <laughs> yeah baby you said I'm something gonna, else i'm gonna walk down on something yeah okay i'm, I'm gonna, gonna holler, gonna holler you gonna holler till i'm 80 what that got to do with 50 Cent and Ciroc? You think you got a Playboy <laughs> lifestyle like Diddy that we want to hear about? I highly doubt it. I dare you on Mount Olympus with your feet up, looking ridiculous, rubbing I'm between your toes, Ciroc. getting no, comfortable, man. You lacking, you slacking on your mag and slacking on your pimpin'. Get, get on the chick. Say that in the chat. 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 <laughs> we ain't got time to be playing with you, man. You in the wrong place at the wrong time, yeah, brother. You know, I All I could do I is pray for you, man. You got the game twisted. You say you represent the South. We, big we ain't got yeah. not one Southern person in the video. We ain't talking you about crazy. Young Jeezy. We ain't talking about T.I. <laughs> we ain't talking about Bum B. And we ain't talking about Pimp C. You heard me? Gotta represent. You Little King Green, think bad this ass. is a game. You ah, don't no understand. Game. This is a higher reality. It's greater than bliss. Oh greater than bliss. You called in to the Maximus. How dare you disrespect my deliveries? Get the hell off my phone. You're not worthy. You're not royal. 
Nah, I had to just give him the yeah, stunner. Yeah, yeah, give him the stunner. See, that's how y'all do. Y'all get scared when you get Give him the stunner. 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 Yo, we up. appreciate you, bro. And we gonna holler at you Ooh. later. Real talk. <sighs> Man, he deserved every last bit of that. Every last ounce of the muscle, man. No diddy. No diddy. Yo, hello, hello. Who is this, man? What's up, Blaze Baldo? Come on, man. Oh, my goodness. Your name Baldo and all that. You know who this is, bro. What's going on? Oh, man. Baldo, what you got to say about Do you think 50 Cent set up Diddy for Ciroc, bro? Man. I think I think it's it's a good move Fifty got in there, like trying to show Diddy a good example. Hold on, when you start calling yourself Baldo, oh my how you gonna hit me with the new name when all I know is the old name? What's this? I know who this is, but your name ain't Baldo. What you you got a bald head? You let it go like LeBron James? Like what happened, nah. bro? Oh my nah, man, it's just my the, the, the short. You know, my short name, you know, for my long name. It is, you know, a nickname, bro. The short name, the long name. That was kind of, I don't know what it was about that, but that was kind of zesty, bro. And I don't appreciate, I don't want to know your long name or your short name. I just wanted to know the name. It ain't about what's long and short. That No diddy, man. What is he talking about? Uh -huh. Then he said something about his nickname. Let your girlfriend call you your nickname. Why would I want to know you? You ain't bae. You not bae. What type of conversation hey, hey, is this? Question, Let me ask a question, Blaze. What's up, bro? Yo, do you think we need to reset men on hip hop? Damn, a reset on hip hop. That would be horrible. Jerry curls again. I don't think so, man. I don't uh, want to bring gold teeth. Let the gold teeth stay where they at. We don't need a reset. The tight ass cowboy pants with the strings, the arm. Um, the, them old, them like hard that. ass jord ass jeans. We don't need that shit no more. Oh, like, like, what, like back to like probably like the mid nineties or like early two thousand. What do you think? Niggas getting shot over the east coast and west coast stupidness. We don't need that no more. Boys in the yeah. hood, juice, all that bullshit. We don't need that. Let it go. Well, Let it be in the leave past. It, huh? Leave it like it is. Uh, damn. We ready oh, for dude. that Korean flavor. That's what we ready for. We re we tired of that American cooking. We tired of them old collard grains, that macaroni and cheese with that hip hop bullshit, man. We tired of it. We want something exotical. We ready to branch out and try new things. We into African music. Yeah, soca. It's popping. People like it. They want to do the tongo. It's good. It make you feel, make you want to dance. That African music. That's what people rather listen to something foreign than to li listen to something American. That's what it boils down to, man. Yeah, yeah. Some new generation stuff, man. But who knows? Maybe probably get some Mad up in there. It's amazing. We want some new flavor. We like to mix it up. We've been watching the Food Network, man. We want we want to try some of that food that's over there. We tired of eating them damn. Collard greens, macaroni and cheese. We want to try something from Taiwan. What that sound like? We want some well, Korean barbecue on the radio. As long as not cat meat. Oh man, why? You see, that's the thing about it. you. Call up here talking about rat meat, cat meat, all that. Oh, that ain't what we do. That was disrespectful and very offensive. And if it was <laughs> rat and cat, you ate it and not ate it, and it was good. So what you gotta say about that? Rat cat, man. How dare you say something like that? It's all well, different baby. types of royalty on Mount Olympus. Well, and they're giving you the thumbs down well, right baby. now. How dare I will Lu Kang your ass? How dare you disrespect my Asian people yeah. like that, man? I turn into Shang to so boy. You playing with a different level of royalty, and it's disrespectful. Mind your manners, mind your manners. We will not allow it. This is the highest of highest, highest of all. And thank you so much for your much phone up. call, brother man. Yeah. We gonna holler at you. You keep it real. That was crazy, man. And he did it all. Clout chasing. Now he's gonna try to make his own show. It happens all the time. Let's just continue on with this, man. Matter of fact, cut the phones off for a second. How long have we been live? I'm ready to interact with the people, man. 
let's let's do this together it's getting real goofy tonight we just gonna wind it down for a little bit then we gonna open back up the phone lines and i promise you it's gonna be just like a movie all you gotta do is stay tuned i'm gonna control the rest i'm gonna put this on cruise control autopilot man for that moolah and it's gonna be a great adventure, I promise you. Get that off the screen, bro. Need to get it together. Now is the time, man. So if you ain't hit the like button, I advise you to do it right now. This is gonna be one of the most replayed sections of the video. So let's get into it, man. Put me, I don't know if y'all started 50. You know what I'm saying? None of it. All of it. I, I mean, you know. I'm, I've never seen it. I've known it for 29 years. And then it's like with guys like like 50, you know what I'm saying? Like Uncle Tom cast like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like you now you want to put me. I don't know if y'all saw the post with 50 posted about me. Of course you guys see. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know? yeah. I mean, 50 um, has been going after Diddy and everybody associated with him for months now, ever since the Cassie lawsuit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you can't brush under the rug. I, I don't see anybody um um reporting about what um tatted up Holly said about him beating her up and about, you know what I'm saying, his other baby mom saying beating her up. I just look at it as, you know, he- Hold on, chatted up Holly. Hold on, what the fuck do that even mean, Stevie J? Wait, wait, wait one second, man. Chatted up Holly. Is that the nickname for his baby mama? They trying to say she really a man and all that? For that moolah. Fuck is chatted up Holly. Was that his name when he was in Taiwan? What, what, what is he talking about? Hold on. What's her name, man? Delphine? This sounds like some old other shit. Man, you got to keep a close eye on these. So just because they got a baby don't mean it ain't a surrogate. They could make a baby nowadays in an incubator. Look at this, man. Is that really? Did he make her have a baby? Have a baby by me, baby. Be a millionaire. He paid her to have the baby so he can share it with this she thing. What if this is a front so people wouldn't question her gender? Tatted up Charlie. Stevie J, no. Because Diddy told him. What if that's a she thing? Come on, man, 50. I know you ain't moving zesty like that. Good, good, good unit. Damn, somebody bleached the shit out they face. She looking like, how can I ever be your mother? Like, mommy, what about me? Sorry, I must leave you behind in the race of life. Look at her shit. He on the beach playing peekaboo with the booty and doing all this goofy shit. She look like, yes, take my picture for Diddy. Take my picture for Diddy. Then she was in the club with the next one. And Stevie J talking like this Jocelyn Hernandez part to you. He know what it's like being with a man. Oh my Allegedly. Hold on, y'all. Damn, I put in Stevie. Oh I typed in Stevie. I can't believe myself. We be Stevie J, man. I can't even get their names right. Shit, just too zesty, man. Oh, it's Stevie, Stevie, Stevie. I love you, Stevie. Deep ass voice. DB, I beat your eyes. You know I got the same strength. I got the same strength, nigga. Oh you must have forgot I got the same strength as you. I got that same strength. And don't play with me, DB. I promise you, I got that same strength. Manny Pacquiao, nigga. Oh I told you that my grandfather related to Benny Pacquiao. Don't play with me, DB. Hey, bust your shit. Be you leaking. While she step off looking like a street fighter. Oh my 
kissed on the red carpet and everything. Now give me a kiss, DB. Said it with the deep voice, Shabba Ranks. He know what it look at her hand, covering up his whole chest and no ditty. He got a big chest, man. One of her hands covered up Stevie J's whole chest. Can your little female hands do that? I don't think so. Call her tatted up Jimmy or some shit. In the back seat, they look like they funky. Like I forgot to take a shower that day. I ain't gonna lie, Stevie. I ain't not. I did not. Like it's all good. I ain't taking shower neither. And I just got done freaking off with Diddy. Oh my goodness. Ain't no telling where this man on been. It's, they said he was on the video with a boy. Oh my goodness. And the dude was trying to get back to the. He got it on with the milkman. Oh my goodness. For that moolah. The milkman couldn't even drop the milk off at Diddy house. Like I want a tall glass of milk. Like sir, it's all in the bottle. I bought it. It's ice cold. Like that ain't the milk I'm talking about, oh buddy boy. You see Stevie J in the yard, they be looking like he a pit bull dog. When they basketball over there, they just let it be. Woo. Homie said he ain't want to go get his basketball. Stevie J on the lawn. Soon as you cross over, he gonna catch your ass like a lion. Like, yeah. Drag your ass back in the Diddy house. Like, Puffy, wake up, baby. Puffy, wake up. It smell like bacon and ass. I got a hot plate. Your ass tied up in the chair with an apple in your mouth, man. Ain't no telling what they doing for real. That devilish grin, he rolled with the diddler. What'd that make him, man? Hold on, y'all. Look at this. I'm showing my age for real on this one. Y'all remember Pinky in the Brain? No, no. Said Ren and Stimpy. No, not Ren and Stimpy. They could be Ren and Stimpy, but I'm thinking more. Hold on. Put Ren and Stimpy. Nigga, you stupid. Oh, my goodness. Pinky in the Brain. Old people don't even... Young people don't even know what this is, man. Which one Stevie J and which one is Diddy? Y'all tell me in the chat, man. Which one of them is Stevie and which one is Diddy, man? I already got my pick. The brain definitely. The brain definitely. <laughs> the brain definitely got to be Diddy, man. Cause Stevie J, he just is a cheesy of a rat. And Diddy is, man, with that cheesy ass smile, y'all. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Oh, hi. My name's Melody. Oh, what's going on, Melanie? What's on your mind? What's on your mind? Um, I don't know. Are you live right now? Yeah, we live right now. Talking about Diddy, 50 Cent being the new CEO of Ciroc, <laughs> man. We, we just talking about it tonight. Oh my God! You know, I was I wanted to say that uh, I actually watched uh, a few months ago. I think it was uh, I can't remember this one rapper, but he's got these moguls, mostly like these big time CEOs. They have a lot of stake in these prisons, so it has a lot to do with these. Uh, you know, this whole gangster life. They're basically reared to have a lot of these guys. You know influence these young people to listen to this type of music to influence them to get into more situations that will leave them to prison. And I kind of believe that. Yeah, it's a new day and age. You know, hip hop is falling, man. The, the Olympus has fallen. It's over. Like they want to get rid of it completely. They want to, they, they renovate and entertainment, man. They want to get rid of all of this ghetto bullshit. They trying to push it to Tubi. Like, okay, if you want this, you can find it here. They want to place all that shit on Tubi. They don't want it integrated in their sophisticated systems, man. They don't want all that ratchet shit on their networks. They want mass appeal. You got foreign movies all on these apps. You be like, damn, this movie, you got to put it in subtitles. It look like they 
what they saying not even matching up with their mouth and all that. It's a new age. They right. want to take all that. They gentrifying entertainment and this hip hop bullshit don't have a place in these Who higher networks, to? man. Uh, I just think just the fact I'm not going to really say that what he's doing, Diddy is in trouble. Personally, people can say what they want, but I think he does piss off a lot of people because he's been operating like this for years. It's always been like a loom of suspicion with this guy. If people have talked about him doing things, but for some reason it's coming out right now, you know? Hold on. We ain't even got the phone number up there. Wait a minute. Somebody is in violation. Oh my Cause I was doing my thing. You called in under, you came in under the tape, but I'm so glad you called, man. Everything you saying is nothing but facts. It's looking like this Ciroc, the flavor just not going to be hitting like it was when Diddy was on the bottle. You know, it's just a, a different feel. That's like taking away Wendy from Wendy's and putting up some no name chick and she looks stupid up there trying to sell you a cheeseburger and all that you gonna go through the drive-thru like who is this bitch wendy ain't up there no more it got somebody named tanya and her bonnet look ridiculous you gonna buy her fries i don't know i don't know but personally that's how i feel i mean because he's been operating like this for so long for some reason because this one chick cassie and others got these cases against them Nah, it's something else bigger going on. He pissed off some people. It has to be, you know? Yo. Because he's been doing this for so long. Like, why is it coming out now? Yo, what if they took Wendy's and turned it into Cassie's? Would you go through the drive through They put Cassie face up there, changed it to Cassie's. You going to eat her sandwich after she done freaked off with Diddy? No, that's not me, but I'm just saying in general, it's just it's a bigger picture here. People, I mean, this is what the media is putting out there. See, they're always saying all these things about him. Before he even gets to court, he's going to be guilty. You know what I mean? They're just painting the picture of his life for us to look at. Oh, he did this, but I yeah, mind you, he's been doing this for a long time. So again, you know, why? Why now? Is there anything else that you want to say, my beautiful sister? No. That's all, well, that's good. Like that is good. Because for the last five minutes, you just been talking, just have been talking. I've been trying to have a dialogue, a conversation with you on Mount Olympus. You're too busy looking at the crowd. <laughs> You're too busy looking at no. the arena. You're too busy looking at the gold. And the medals and the statues and show you too busy on the stage looking at the damn crowd. And I appreciate everything you had to say, but you weren't talking about nothing that we was talking about. You didn't mention Diddy not one time in your whole conversation. And I gave you a chance. I let you talk for five minutes straight. You ain't say nothing about Surat. You ain't say nothing about effing vodka. And I'm still waiting for you to get to the point. And I know you're not going to be okay. able to handle this, baby. But I'm about to give you the stana. I'm the number one stana. Number one stana. You about to get the stunner. But I ain't going to do you like that. Hold on. Wait a minute. I was about to make up the hun. She hung up the phone in my face. Damn. No, 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 no. She couldn't take it no more, man. God bless her heart. I should have told her I was just playing before I completely went off on her ass. Oh my goodness. Now she over there stuck. She done unsubscribed, hit the dislike. She did all that shit in one swipe. Like, oh my gosh, unsubscribe, unlike, unnotification, like, fuck you, dude. She gave me the double fingers and kept it moving. Like, ew, yuck, yucky. She got the fuck on. Man, fuck you and your show. And your Mount Olympus. <laughs> she disrespect. She gonna be banished to Hades for doing some shit like that, man. That was distasteful and disgraceful. And she don't belong here anyway. 
Damn, I wish you'll call back. I hit your cash app if you call back. Right now. Right now. If you still listen to call back right now. I'm gonna see if she gonna call back. Cause I wanna be her friend for real. So I was just playing. I really did enjoy her conversation. She ain't got a call. I'm gonna be okay like Usher. Oh my goodness. Cause we got a whole lot of stuff we gotta talk about. You gotta be a real badass to sell liquor. You got shot nine times. I ain't taking that sip. I don't want to be nothing like you gangsta. I don't want to be in the club with that same old two step. Not I. I don't want to drink nothing that he's selling, man. He got the face of somebody that need to sit their ass down. Oh my goodness. That's all I'm saying. He looked like somebody that just need to like take a break. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to see 50 no more. If he take a break, nobody will be sad. Look at this, man. And I know it sounds like I'm being mean, but you can't replace Diddy with 50. That ain't no good look. Now you can find me in the pub. Oh Stomach for the bub. It look like he about to throw up. This is horrible, man. He in a pub with a bottle full of bub, belly on bulge, and he about to throw up. In the pub. Boo, man. Boo. Oh it ain't no good. Not for no liquor. He need to sell some weight loss pills because he could lose that weight real fast and put it back. He you a fitness guy, You're a fitness guy, man. He slimmed down, then he get he back and forth with his weight. That's what he need to be pushing. You know, 50 cent weight pills. Like I'm skinnier than the motherfuckers that I started with them G unit pills. Shit, got me piped up, ready to get a nigga. Oh my goodness. Got me on swole, get at the hoes. Shit, I take them on um, them 50 vitamin pills, man. And you would too. That's good marketing and good branding. Even Dr. Dre on the pills. No, we not. Damn. Oh my goodness. Dr. Dre got buffed for like 10 years of his life. The weight started getting to his ass. Hold on. He got real buff. He even show a little booby for the gram. Like, come and get it. He was looking like Yo Gotti, man. He was looking just like Yo Gotti in the face. Even talking like Yo Gotti. Hell yeah. West Coast back on that ass, nigga. Pop, what was he on? Like the doctor said I need to do this and the doctor said I need to do that. Oh my goodness. Like I need a doctor to give me some therapy. Like I like that song. These celebrities, man. It's so much zest in Hollywood, I don't even know where to start. Even Timberland got buff. Only in the arms. Only in his arms. He take the shirt off. He ain't even right. But them arms, they probably pumped him full of silicone, man. Let me find out Timberland got the silicone injections to look buff. The muscles like Benzino. Old man on extra steroids and all that. He presses his arm close to his body, acting like he ain't fat. They taught him how to pose to make him look buff. Squeeze your arms behind your back as hard as you can for the pictures, man. Look at him. He look like he bought the shit. Oh my 
Put that mulo, put that mulo. Straining all on the red carpet, trying to be sexy. They got out the car growling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ain't lift not one damn weight in his life. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? What's good, Sean? Oh, my Pete, Pete. Word up. Yo, yo, yo. Thank you so much for calling in, man. What's on your mind, brother? Man, just loving your show, man. And um, all the way from South Central California, man. Just crazy. Yo, we got a Thank boys in the hood on the phone. Y'all need to put some respect. He from the hood for real, for real, man. He put some respect. We got a real one on the phone. That's right. And we'll tell Jenkins in the house. Come on, bro. How you say you from Compton? Sounding like you the Fresh Prince of Bel Air and all that. You gonna have to explain that to the listeners, man. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That's funny. But I just wanted to drop something on you, man. Um, what's um, what's the chick Fifty Cent's baby's mama? What's her name? Um, Dolphine Joy or something like that. They call her Tattoo Jimmy, though. That's what Stevie J said. Okay, I got a new one for you. A follow. F O L O, a freak off leftover. Booyah. A FOLO. A FOLO, huh? That's what you <laughs> calling them out? You just made that up, didn't you? A FOLO. Yeah, because didn't, I guess, 50 met her at one of the parties or she knew Diddy before or some shit? Yup. Yeah, something like that. So that's the only thing I'm like, well, that's a leftover. F O L O, a freak off leftover. F O L O, a freak off leftover. I don't know what part of Compton you from exactly, but one thing for sure, your liking, your likeness, your being, <laughs> your purpose, your whole thing, your whole charade does not belong on Mount Olympus. And I apologize, but the royalty has spoken. The people, they won't have it. They won't allow it. It's disgraceful. You come on this platform, foaming out the mouth, screaming and barking. Where's the class and elegance? Folo? How about no, no? <laughs> How about that? Instead of your folo, we gonna do the no, no. Cause no, everything no. you did is a major no, no. You don't do that. You right, don't. Right, 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 right. You fucked up. And I gotta let you know. That's right. You right, my king. <laughs> and we appreciate you, brother, man. Yo, don't be no stranger. It's all fun and games. We ain't got nothing but love for you, man. And the next time I go live, hopefully we'll have another classic because your phone call was a classic, brother. We gonna holla at you later. Real talk, no doubt, man. Shout out to him. And so much love. Yo, yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Is this a Sean? No doubt. This is Mr. Sean. Who this be, man? This is a Borat. Yeah, oh, man. I'm a calling from Kazakhstan, and uh, I just want to know why are you talking shit uh, about the 50 Cent? Uh, he's a very nice guy. Talking shit about 50 Cent, huh? That's what I'm doing. What is wrong with 50 Cent representing the Serac? You tell me, brother man, you the one that know everything. Yes, I know everything. So why aren't you fucking a shit about uh, Matthew McConaughey driving a Lincoln? Does he really drive a Lincoln? I don't man. think so. Either President Lincoln need to call in or you are rubbish. We trying to figure out how you calling yourself Bo Rat when you just a broke rat. And we don't like it. You all on Mount Olympus looking stupid. I've been sizing you up for the stunner ever since you first called. Now it's about to be bad. And when I roll your ass off the stage and you let out that loud fart, we ain't never going to remember you or care to see you again. It's oh, you, you did yourself a disservice. Like you disservice yourself. How can you make it to the mount? Do you not want to go to heaven? What is this blasphemy? 
It's disgusting and this sick is We can't believe disgusting. that you have such a low pedigree. This is epic. The it's event is major. The tickets have been it's sold. Been it's sold out. It's the box been office been will not allow. You messing with the head of the table. It ain't a good look. Now you gonna have to live like John Wick. You ready for that type of you heat? Are, are you go with the table. The you go with the table. You don't do that to the table. How you gonna survive? How you gonna survive? This ain't a good look. All we can do is pray for you, man, because it ain't right. And we want to thank you so much for your phone call. And I had fun with you, bro. Rat. You be good, bro. It was a horrible act. It was a bad act. Who told him that he do that well? His coworkers will probably never know. But we know how bad he is. But it is what it is, man. So let's get back to this. Come on, man. All these dudes in hip hop, let's be real. Every last one of them. Bust the rhymes too. This man. Yo, shout out to all these rappers I be talking about for fun. I would never want to disrespect, especially a 90s rapper. I don't want that old man smoke. But what's the deal, man? They get fat and stink. Oh my goodness. The next thing they got a six pack. Is it a pack of hot dogs? Is they working out or getting surgery? Whenever that album drops, they get buff again to sell some records. Like I can't be out there looking all fat. Oh my goodness. I gotta do what I gotta do. Every time an album release or they making major moves, all of a sudden they in Gold's gym, but ain't no weights on the rack. He got two 15s acting like he dying for his life. And he looked buff as hell, man. Is these dudes getting surgeries, man? Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, what's up? Yo, what man. Blue? No doubt. We got Blue on the phone, everybody. We talking about 50 Cent allegedly being the new CEO of Ciroc. People saying it's a horrible move, but they saying they wanted 50 all along. How you feel about this, bro? I think that 50... His ghost on power. His move strategic. I think that like, uh, I think he shouldn't even do it. He should have nothing to do with Diddy at all. You what saying you on 50 shouldn't have nothing to do with Diddy? That's what you saying? Yeah, no Diddy. Yeah, no Diddy. Diddy. Don't even touch his stuff like, but. Touch it. Did he think he Joker? He moving around like he Joker, right? And it's Gotham, see? So you gonna keep regurgitating stuff I've been saying on my previous videos back to me? Oh, I'm glad you've been listening. Listen. I'm glad you've been listening, cool. brother, because you told me everything I've been saying for the past couple of weeks. And I, pre yeah, I love like the he, fact you that you've been watching the show, man. But it's like this. What's up? We appreciate your call. And I ain't gonna get off the phone with you, but I just gotta do a little quick disclaimer, man, because the video is for people that got their own stuff to say, man. I hear what you saying, but the thing is, I'm you say, regurgitating like a goober, gerby, gerber baby. It's bad, you spitting it up, I gotta burp them. And I don't wanna have to do this in front of everybody, but I know what you doing, man. It's sort of like, and I ain't nobody daddy. I ain't trying to say I'm your dad. I ain't did. Matter of fact, no diddy, man. I'm you got me it. talking I'm zesty. He got me talking zesty. I'm trying to explain something. I hear you. I hear you. This chat. The rules have changed. Ain't no more playing around. Ain't no calling up here being goofy. Ain't no calling up here. You ain't got nothing to say for real, man. And I'm gonna say this since you on the phone, bro. I feel like if 50 Cent really want to sell this liquor, he gonna have to start turning up out here with the young generation. And do you think 50 yeah, got what that. it take? You think he about that? Nah. nah, I think he way past that. He too old for that. Thank you. He trying he to sell a young man's that. drink and he the oldest man in hip hop.
Yeah, yeah but Diddy done snuck uh, one of his girls uh, to him before that. Like, I was watching uh, all the shows and stuff. Like, not yeah. just your show, but I was watching I know you, shows you all YouTube. on the internet regurgitating, spitting up that Gerber juice. Nah, man. I, just, I just be seeing it, man. Yo, I met Diddy before, though. Yo, I met him too. No doubt. Yeah, and I didn't see this side of him, mm-hmm. but people were telling me about him, though. Yo. They was like, yo. Be careful about this guy. Yeah, they told you. They nope. was preaching to the choir. Holla. And we want to thank you so much for your Ooh. phone call. He done went from not knowing what we was talking about till he met Diddy. If he really met Diddy, he would have said that first, man. And no disrespect to him. And thank him so much for his phone call. But I'm old and I ain't got time to be playing with people no more, man. And it is what it is. No offense. Matter of fact, get them, get that number off the phone, man. Or get the the screen. Take all that off, man. Over here, stressing for no reason and all that. Back to what I was saying, though. Listen, man. It's a cold world. Cassandra Cassie Ventura, who filed a lawsuit against Combs last year, accused the rapper and music mogul of sex trafficking and sexual assault, also issued a statement in response to the raids. She said, we will always support law enforcement when it seeks to persecute those that have violated the law. A statement read from her lawyer said, hopefully this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. For Cassie, they strong arm in the booty with a suit and a briefcase and some Ciroc, man. They putting Cassie to work. They got her on the, she probably ain't got no choice but to go along with this. It wasn't even her idea. She was forced into the situation. Like Puff, I, they, I got, they making me do it. I don't want to Puff, but they know it's getting hot and they need a link. They want me to be the link, Puff. I hate that it have to be me, but that's what they want. They coming at you from all angles. Get out the house, get down, get down. Puffy, get down. She probably ain't even want to see her man go down like that. I broke up, but whatever, like it's whatever. I'm married, I'm happy. I thought she moved on with her life. Why would she move on with her life? Be happily married with kids, holding all this resentment inside But Diddy. She moved on. They made her do this shit. The bag was too big. It was at her neck. Like Cassie, we have a proposition. They land a helicopter on Walmart when they in there trying to get some dog food and some food for the kids, man. Like, why is the wind blowing? Like, it's blowing. What's going on? It's a helicopter with news reporters. They show up like the damn suicide squad. My name's Randy. My name's Frank. They put her on the job for the money. She been let go of Diddy. She living with a rhinestone cowboy, the American dream. She probably on a ranch. Like, stop talking so loud around the chickens. You're gonna toughen the meat. Oh my like, you can't, you can't go out there screaming when the chickens are in the coop because if you do, you're gonna scare them, and the meat is gonna be awful. I'm trying to tell you. She living a whole nother life. Think she work? She ain't, she won't worry about Diddy. She with the Lone Ranger and he ride at night. Get it? For that mula. He tan that he don't she pregnant. He keep putting another bud in the oven, honey. She love it. Lemon iced tea. It's all good in her neighborhood. She ain't worried about Diddy. She happily married. And they want us to believe she a woman scorn. She enjoy every last minute. And no disrespect. If you can smile with a black eye and a busted lip, you had a hell of a night. Like I finally made that nigga mad. Yes, I did. He loved me. I can feel it. This nigga crazy, baby. I mean, damn. 
She wore the black eye with the shades with a smile like, yeah, demon time. Rolling with the dealer. She was his Harley Quinn for years, man. She ain't no saint. How can you be with the diddler for so long without diddling and dabbling? Like, where's mines? Like, Puff, it's early. What are you doing? Where's mines? Oh, my goodness. You can't have none of this. It's that new shit. That Quincy Jones shit. You know, this that pink cocaine shit. Oh, my goodness. Can't have none of this, Cassie. I'm talking about this that top of the line. You know, Playboy, you know, you step your paper up, I'll let you get a little something. But for right now, you need to stick with the weed, you know, pop you or something, you know. Can't have none of this pink shit, baby. I'm trying to tell you, you know, this shit good, Cassie. Quit playing, Puff. Let me come on. Like, stop. Let me come on. I'm trying to tell you, you don't fuck with this shit, Cassie. You'll be freaking off all night. You don't want to do that. You said you was tired last night. Lay your ass back down. Puff, whatever. I'm ready. I'm young. Don't you see me? I'm young. My breast is. Look at me, Puff. I can handle it. I can, I can handle it, Puff. Show you, you know, I ain't going to be riding that white horse and the pink horse. I'm going to have to call up Cam wrong. Oh, my goodness. Made me call up Cam because, you know, he a wild nigga from home. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Need to see this, man. Cam, you got some explaining to do. You mean to tell me? Diddy was doing that pink cocaine by itself. Oh my goodness. Like you ain't got that pink horsepower for sale. You know what time it is, man. Oh my goodness. You know what time it is with the pink cocaine cam. You trying to start sell it and market it, talking about it's gonna keep you rocked up, it's gonna get you right, daddy, that pink horse. What y'all up there doing in Harlem? Old niggas freaking off hoes, man. Grandpa's trying to look cam out there trying to look at him with a pink lambo he get out real zesty for looking for a big booty a bust down in chicago oh shit cam rolled up on your bitch yeah he had a little lamborghini thing a little pink thing a little pinky pimp a little pinky sticky freaky deaky thing yeah he out here living like pinky oh, say it again nigga like cam you stink say it again Killer moving with them pink Audis and, and Bentleys and stuff. The ice cream man. He tried to holler at a chick. She rejected his ass and he walked back to his pink car. Oh my goodness. What type of life is this, man? Diddy and Mace and Mace and Cam and Diddy, like, what pick? What is going on, man? The pink horsepower. Diddy know about that shit. What they doing in Harlem? They make it seem like Diddy the only one living foul. And no disrespect to Cam, but they ever wanted to do him dirty? They could do the whole dip set dirty. Real dirty, real bad. They could do Jim Jones foul. And the streets would be buzzing and talking worse than they talking about with Diddy, man. Did you know that Cam and Jewels and did you know? And I ain't saying what it is to know, but how the internet looking, people could make up some shifty shit that can stick. Like Jewel Santana and Cam Braun. That sound that already sound messed up. Oh my. You started off like that, you can go anywhere with it. Joelle Santana. Shit, let Saucy Santana make up something about Cameron. Like, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Because Joelle Santana said, because uh, that's what Santana. They got Santana all up in it. Oh, my goodness. It ain't a good look. With the pink mink. Jim Jones had the blowout back in the day. Rolling with Cam. Look how Jewel's on his arm. He acting like Cam Barry Gordy and he Diana Ross. Oh my goodness. And I ain't trying to talk about Dipset bad. But Diddy ain't the only one. 
Got mosquitoes and shit in here. Mosquito, f I'm gonna have to end the stream. This mosquito is kicking my ass. He big too, I'm itching. Ouch. Oh. No, no. Ah. Erica Badu watching again. She working that shit. No, 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 no. I'm, I can't even finish the. Oh my God. I'm itching. No, no. These big ass. Where the fuck? Did they come from Africa? For that no, no. Yo, I'm going to need y'all to do me a favor because I got to get out and get me some bug off or something because this shit is. These mosquitoes having a feast. Yo, I'm. Damn, what the fuck? How many of them bitches in here? Yo, let me give a shout out to the people that hit that cash app and scram. I'm gonna get the home defender out. And we gonna do it like that with the home defender. Cause this don't make no sense, man. Yo, shout out to all the people watching and the people that showed me none but love. Tammy, thank you so much for that cash app, my A and E. Tammy, Tammy, and Tammy, man. Thank you so much, my love. All my new members, shout out to y'all. Hold on, Gage Gore in the building. What it do, homie? Detroit's finest, Bruce Rice. I see y'all, man. Brenda Burgess, thank you so much. Brent, Brittany Walker, Grace. Miss Lady Love, Humble Waters, Minnie Ripperton. Thank y'all for the cash app. I'ma holla at y'all later. So much love for all y'all, man. Subscribe.